we're glad to have Rich calling in. Uh, hello, Rich. Uh, welcome to the Kitchen Politics 1, 2, 3, Radio Show. What's cooking tonight? You know, I was hey, calling hey, in because hey. I thought until your uh, other host would call in, I would, I would call in. Mm-hmm. But, you know, um, I'm going to be voting for Trump. And mm-hmm. I was wondering, you know, I guess Biden's polling a little less than Trump in, mm-hmm. you know, different polls. And I'm open to listen to why we should vote for Biden. But, like, there's another show that I listen to, and it's uh, they talk about black issues and stuff. And I called their show, and I said, mm-hmm. how do you think – uh, Biden did, and they were very angry at Biden. They said he hasn't done anything for the black community and stuff. So mm-hmm. I want to get your opinion. Why do you think Biden's poll numbers are lower than Trump's? And well, I, because I mean, the Democratic sincere. Party. Oh yeah, well, Rich, the Democratic Party and um, the, the 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 people who are running uh, the re-election campaign effort. You know, they're like, you know, being lax in, in terms of promoting the CHIPS program that he signed into law, uh, infrastructure bill that he signed, um, you know, and fighting for women's freedoms, medical freedoms, in terms of fighting to get back Roe versus Wade. There are different things in the first two years over the, his administration that he have done that were beautiful. Look at the stock market, for example. It's booming. You know, the biggest record stock market um, in, in, in the history of the United States. What has he done for black people? Well, um, for example, in college tuition fees, uh, he has forgiven student loan debts. And a lot of African Americans, as well as Latinos, uh, they owe a lot in debt, you know, and, you know, white students as well, you know. So that's a thing that, you know, the, the president of the United States has been fighting for, you know, across the board, whether you're black, white, Jewish, whatever, you know. So he has had successes, uh, Rich. Uh, and um, the, the, the poll, it depends on who asks and what they ask. You know, they can skew a question a certain way. Uh, that's why Donald Trump is getting traction. But the thing about it is that, you know, uh, it's early in the game and, you know, we'll have all, like, less than a year now before the election. And I think people want to sit through Donald Trump because remember after the New Hampshire primary, you know, the way he belittled um, his opponent in the Republican primaries, you know, I mean, instead of talking about policies, you know, he's berating a woman. Uh, he is saying that he hopes the economy crash. You know, he's not putting any policy forward to saying, hey, when I've been in office, this is what I plan to do, to help America move forward. What he's saying is like, oh, yes, I'm going to go out there, and from day one, I've got a dictator, you know, and he's going to be, you know, going after his political opponents and, you know, being vengeful and everything. You know, so people are going to sit all through that and everything. Just give it time for the process to play out. And I'm sorry to hear that you're voting for Donald Trump because he's not a good person. Never was and never will be, you know. And why are you well, voting for Donald Trump? What good quality do you see? Oh, thanks for, thanks for asking. Well, mm-hmm. I'll tell you, Jesus Christ isn't on the ballot, or I, of course, would vote for him. <laughs> but we have mm-hmm. Biden – um, and then we have Trump. Those are my choices. So uh, um, mm-hmm. to give you the short answer, uh, Trump was obviously better for the economy. I think mm-hmm. he's a stronger leader. He knows how to put on a hard hat. I don't know if you read that Biden put on the hard hat wrong. Trump knows yeah. how to go up and down Air Force One steps without tripping. Um, but the main mm-hmm. thing, I, I'll tell you, here's my last thing I'll, I'll say. I can go on forever, but I'll just tell you one last thing. Um mm-hmm. Here's something interesting. You guys will really find this interesting. So I went to a, mm-hmm. this Trump rally. It was in California, believe it or not. And even though mm-hmm. I'm a Christian, very conservative Christian, uh, pro-life, mm-hmm. by the way, uh, I don't believe the baby is part of the woman's body. I, I don't mm-hmm. buy into that. Uh, but um, I believe the baby is separate from the woman's body. But um, mm-hmm. We were. I was at this rally, and even though I'm a conservative Christian, the lady next to me with the American flag was a lesbian, 
And then there, there were people of all different races and colors. And, and you know what's amazing? I've never seen that, like, where a conservative Christian is, and I don't agree with the lesbian. She probably doesn't agree with me. But yet we're okay with each other. What I find in the Democrat Party, why are you guys so hostile to Christians? Like, like bigoted even. It's pretty Rich. sad. Rich, this is Laura, and I am the co-host hey, Laura. here. Hi, and I've been listening to what you have to say. Um, I don't know where do you get your information, first of all. I think that's a fair question for me to ask. What information specifically? Like Everything I said? Or? Well, let's say um, you said that you would be voting for Jesus Christ, but instead he was on the ballot. What makes you, wait a minute, one second. What makes you think that Trump is a conservative Christian? What gives you that idea? Well, I'm going to uh, tell you, I look at what the candidates do. So let's say Biden put in Supreme Court judges that overturn Roe versus Wade, which right. is genocide on, on, on babies. Um, I would love that. I would say, wow, Biden did very well. So I look at him uh, putting forth uh, pro-life judges. Now, I, I agree with you that neither one is the epitome of Jesus Christ, who I would love to have on the ballot, but I'd rather vote for someone that's that put in pro-life judges and finally killed uh, Roe versus Wade, which was a oh. wonderful day, don't you think? All those babies I being able know, to it wasn't live. Because, because, listen, Rich, what about the, lady, the, the, the wife and mother well, in, in, in Texas who had to was, leave? But, oh, go ahead. Go ahead, David. That's not me talking. That's him. Yeah. Okay, I know. Uh, I, she, she left I, Texas. She left Texas to have an abortion because it would save her life. And she'll have two children, and the third one is not viable. The doctor said if she don't have if she don't have an abortion, the baby is either going to kill her because it's going to die inside of her. So, or one. if the baby is born, it's not going to live past three, four, five days. And if right. it does live past three, four, five days, it's going to have developmental problems where the brain don't develop and other things don't develop. So why why have a baby knowing that it's going to die or you could die from it as a woman? You know, and speaking of Trump, you know, Trump is not sent by Jesus Christ. That's what right-wing conservatives always say. You know, remember when he had that uh, thing where he held the Bible upside down and everything? To me personally, I think that Donald Trump, you know, Donald Trump is the epitome of everything wrong with the right wing in America because, you know, he's not Christian. He's been married three times and each of these wives he cheated on, you know? So why would, as a Christian, you'd vote for somebody so, you know, sacrilegious and disgusting and, you know, talking about grabbing a woman oh, by I the told... hoo-ha. Oh, yeah, I'm and... sorry to interrupt you. I thought that – I totally agree. One, one I'll, I'll make it quick. Cause... Oh, go ahead, one Sharon. Other... Sorry to interrupt. One other question. Are you, have yes, you been watching the Jane Carroll uh, case, the E. Jean Carroll case? Have you watched that at all? You know, you I watched it. Is that the lady that said, it, it's funny because the, the, you're saying that what she said, it, and she loved the show Law and Order, it matched exactly an episode of Law and oh. Order. Isn't that so I no, don't know. No, There's no, some no, kind of mental with that no, lady, I think. Rich, listen, Rich, facts are facts. She went through court. She had seven. Uh, she had a jury, and the jury decided that with the evidence that, that the, uh, they provided, that he committed sexual assault. And not only did he commit sexual assault, after that, he defamed her how many times? So, and not only that, can put her life in jeopardy, put the judge's life in jeopardy, put the clerk's life in jeopardy, because he was going on true social and talking about the case. And you know that you're not supposed to do that. So why a man, and, other, and another thing, there are 25 more women that have come forward and have charged him with sexual assault or rape, 25. So this is not a godly man. This is not a Christian man. 
This is not a good husband. This is not a good human being. This is none of those things. He is, hold on, let me finish. I think he is a man that is running, running away from his past. Because if you go into his past, if you've been following him at all in his past, he has done, the, the things that he has done has been over and over. He's done over and over again. The problem is he's never been caught. He's never been caught. He's never had to face any consequences because he's always had people to take care of him, like his, his father when he was younger. And then as time went on, when he went into his father's corporation, his father took care of him until he died. And then whoever was in, in the Trump corporation took care of him. He was never a good man. He was never a man that loved people. He always looked down on people. So for you to support someone that does not even love this country, does not love women, talks about them like they're dirty and they're ugly. You have heard the word. And as far as black people, anyone that comes in through the comes into the country that does not have white skin, he does not like them. And if you think that he does have any respect for any of them, you're absolutely mistaken. And that is the reason why I asked you, what news sources do you follow? Because that means a lot. And it means a lot because I had a girlfriend that was I was very close to. And she was a Catholic. She was very Christian. She was a Catholic and the best Catholic I ever knew. All right. She went down what I call the rabbit hole. And she started to believe all these horrible things. And, you know, she had a nervous breakdown because of it. And now, and now she realized that she made a mistake. And it took her two years to get back, to come back into the living instead of wanting to kill herself. Truthfully. So I don't understand how anyone can support a man that, that really does, is, he's got 91 indictments against him as well. He sold documents. Yes. He has cheated on his taxes. That's coming next. He has, I'll tell you, I'll tell you people, why when you're people, done. If, if, pardon? I don't want to interrupt. Oh, what? go ahead. I, I, I mean, I would like to, really give you an answer that I think you guys yes, are going to like, right which ahead. is the truth. Okay, okay go right so ahead. I, truth, think, we'll see. I, I think if we were honest, uh, we being in general, I, not, not you guys I specifically. Everything was true but I, and honest. I, you can take that I, to the back. Okay, so I think if we were honest, it, like I, we in general, like the world, it's mm-hmm. really, they're really kind of, I, I can understand if they did one lawsuit against them or two but it's they really made it so obvious they probably should have just did a few lawsuits this is just my opinion but they've gone i i I didn't interrupt you do you think he's going to be charged and for every single lawsuit he broke the law all those times why should he get away with it i would like the answer he did you would be in prison right now you would not be doing rallies you have to understand that. You have. To I would like to answer. It. Go ahead. Yes. So, so what what happens when you you listen to these suits that are being brought against him, and you listen to like uh, the Secretary of State's and these different states that are trying to take him off the ballot, and you you listen to this, yeah. it's. Because it's really. I, can I please? I, I'm almost. I, I'm almost done. I promise. And thanks okay. for being so kind. Um, okay. It, it's kind of too obvious that that we would all agree that it always is these Democrats that are doing it, which it's that's the right to do it. Okay. But it's here's. But here's. So on that, it's there's a reason why he's going up in the polls the more lawsuits are against him. It's the dumbest thing that they could have done. If I was trying to defeat Trump, I would say, don't keep bringing all these lawsuits because it makes it kind of look like, like we're just honest. Okay. And then I want to just kind of finish, but go ahead. Yes, ma'am. Who, who is bringing these lawsuits? Do you think, who do you think is bringing the lawsuits? Well, you have Jack Smith. Okay. Um, 
you know, and then you have um, that other lady that had the affair with <laughs> you know, the, the one that had the affair, and she and she's corrupt. And so, who are you talking about? Who are you talking about? Um, talking about. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, brother. Um, so yeah, and so she had an affair with, then, and so exactly. she's, hold on, and she. Hold on. Well, can I? Stop before you I, I never get a chance to finish. I well, was, I'm sorry, but you cannot. Lori, let, let him finish, and we'll make the point afterwards. Lori, okay. let him finish. All right. Okay. okay. So Lori, go, go ahead. I'll remember it. I'll remember it. But next time, go ahead, Lori, because I don't want you to lose your thought like I, I might. <laughs> I was going to say that that has not been proven. What Trump has done is basically like the eating pill case, that's done. Okay. He did that. He's going to pay for it. All right. Now, go ahead. Fanny Willis. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Lord. That, if you're talking about Fanny, Fanny Willis, that has not, has not been proven. And then I'll give you reasons as to why I think it's a scam. But go ahead. I'll let you talk. <laughs> Well, yeah, what I want to do is really answer what both of you said out of respect to you, because you guys have always been so nice to me when I call in. And um, okay. it's hard to find a radio show where, like, people will, like, talk to you and stuff. And, and it's good that we're all passionate yes. about it, because this is the way we all come to the uh, true conclusion. Yes. But here's, yes. I want to tell you, you may not agree with it or disagree with it, but I want to tell you just my opinion, we'll call it my opinion, why oh. people are wanting to vote for Trump. OK, mm-hmm. and, and mm-hmm. I know because mm-hmm. I hang out with these people. OK, mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. not because they go around saying they're racist. Uh, most mm-hmm. of the there's lots of black voters that I know, Texas, California, um, they love Trump, you know. Mm-hmm. So what is the reason? Here's the reason. OK, and it's you can mm-hmm. go to his website, you know, and you could see the reason so what he's doing is he's getting different issues. He's talking about immigration. He's talking about how, you know, drill, baby, drill. I won't go through the whole thing because I don't want to turn into like an advertiser, but you get the idea. Yes. So, so yes, I'm very when he aware gets... of what, I am very aware of what he said. And actually, he doesn't say that on the campaign trail. And I'm very aware of what's in his um uh, in his website, I, it's it's all a bunch of BS. He's done none of that. He's not even talked about it. So we can go no, through no, and what, we can talk about it. Go ahead. Lori, what I'm talking about is he's got a list of things that he's saying. It's all new so stuff, it's okay? It's like, oh, yeah, I, I know. I agree with you. But this is this is what they – so I'm just trying to get you to understand why I – uh, like, let's say you guys are driving and I saw you broke down the size of road. I would stop and help you. You guys would do the same thing for me. Of course we So would. there's lots of similarities, you know, between all of us. So then why is it that you guys can be so intelligent? I mean that sincerely. And I could be intelligent. <laughs> and yeah. we come to a disagreement. I think a lot of it has to do with deep-rooted beliefs that you guys have and deep-rooted beliefs mm-hmm. that I have. I'm a Christian. I believe, you know, in pro-life. I believe that people shouldn't cut in line. If Lori, if you were at line at, uh, let's say, Nordstrom's or Walmart Mm -hmm. or whatever, and some guy Mm -hmm. went and cut in front of you, that's unfair. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what the illegals are doing. They're cutting in front of line. They're immigrants. First of all, (laughs) they're immigrants. Use the proper terminology, please. (laughs) Well, when they cut in front of line. In the the, 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 yeah, so when they're, when they're cutting in front of line, everyone hates mm-hmm. that. Muslims, Jews, atheists, mm-hmm. we all hate it when people, you know, are rude and they cut in front. So those mm-hmm. people, uh, we won't call them, I don't want to get that lady mad at me, we won't call them illegal, but we call them cutter and fronters, and they're cutting in front of line. So anyways, um, and this isn't just a problem here. I was just watching a video in the U.K., and they've got this same issue, you know. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. So. So long story short, and I'll come up for some air. So it was amazing to me because I I was when, uh, you know, Bob Dole was running. I remember that. And, but I've never seen anything Mm -hmm. like with the, with the Trump, the way that it is, you'll have people there. I'm not kidding you guys. You'll have people like the most flamboyant 
uh, gay guy and the lesbian, and then you'll have this conservative Christian lady or a, a extreme conservative Christian, you know, guy like me, and we're all mm-hmm. getting along. And the reason why is it's because what he's saying that he's going to do and, and mm-hmm. what he has done. I, the, but the main thing for me, and then I'll, I'll stop, I, I never, I prayed. You, you know that Claudine Gay lady that was with Harvard, the president? And, and yes. yeah. they were interviewing mm-hmm. her, and they said, well, mm-hmm. is, are you allowed in Harvard to just threaten Jews that you're going to kill them? And she goes, well, it's not necessarily wrong. So I prayed real hard. And she stepped down, so that proves that you can pray the gay away. I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> oh. No, but, um, that, 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 was, that, that wasn't, yeah, that no, wasn't the question she was asked. My head is going to oh, What was the question? I didn't hear it. She, she was asked I about to... hate speech and could a certain phrase, river to the sea, be considered hate speech and why is it allowed at Harvard? And, of course, the professor, being a professor, because a conversation like that needs nuance, she wanted to get into, well, uh, it depends. And she would get into yeah, the she of what that. hate speech were. But no, that's a, that's a realistic answer. That's actually what's in their books. Like if you go to Harvard or any other school and you read the course rules of, about behavior and what's allowed on campus, that's the way that they actually approach it. But the Republicans wanted the sound bite. So they set it up where Stefanik could ask the question and then treat it as if this person was against them. When in reality, Claudine Gay is infamous for being on campus and going against uh, the Palestinian group that was on campus, the young black group who was on campus, uh, asking that they could put together an advisory board against racism. Claudine Gay denied both of those and actually put a a board together for anti-Semitism on that board. So she's actually a friend of the people (laughs) <laughs> that people assume that she was against. So the calling Yeah, story I, I think I think we all a, agree she shouldn't have answered sir, like sir, that. Sir, she should have said sir, sir, no, sir, we shouldn't sir, have. Sir, 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 you made your point already. The point no, was, I actually didn't. This was the this was typical right wing hysteria driven by Chris Chris Russo, Rufo on the internet. Like you can look all this up where they talked about what they wanted to do to Sister Gay. And then you come on as a Christian celebrating that woman getting fired. So, well, do you think? Well, she was a plagiarist. Kind of quiet ah, on your end there, isn't it? Story. Kind of quiet. You got real quiet when I said that. So I think that's why no, they got rid of her too. Plus that I prayed that she would be no. let go. You can't pray the gay away. I proved it. <laughs> well, you've you made questions? that joke twice. Why? <laughs> that's a good joke. Why are you? What what has made you in your life besides being a Christian? Yes. Against, hate gay people and lesbians and people that are born in in that in that manner. What? Where'd you get that what? from? I don't know. The way you talk, it seems like that you hate gay people. You don't hate lesbians. No, Claudine no gay. gay. I don't think Claudine Gay was a lesbian. No, 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 no. I understand. This is a different, little bit different topic. Why is oh, it that okay. like, you feel? Why is it that you dislike gay and lesbians? Do you believe that they do not don't have a reason to exist? Is that what it is? I mean, I are, are a transgender. Do you feel that they're less human than you are? I I, I don't understand. If you're a I don't know person, where that came from. Are we on the same line together? We were talking about Claudine yeah, Gay, the I'm president just, of Harvard. I'm the question. That's all. I'm asking you. What do you do? How do you feel about being a Christian? Okay, I'll answer it. Gay, or you know, I, two I believe, men married or two women married. You understand what I'm saying? How do you feel yes, about yes. that as a Christian? Yeah, I'll tell Christian, you. So I ahead. believe that we're all created in God's image. And okay. I do believe that Jesus was right when he said, for this reason, uh, you know, a man shall marry a woman. And I, and I do believe that Leviticus 20.13 is true. And I do believe that God's destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. I do believe lying's wrong. I believe premarital sex is wrong. I believe uh, that 
a marriage is between a man and a woman. Uh-huh. I, I totally believe all that. This is all in line okay. with my Christianity. However, I don't oh, believe right. that. So, so why doesn't that guy? I, I, this is my last no sentence. Life. My last sentence. I didn't address the trans thing. I, I I believe what I was taught in biology class that there's a biological male and a biological female. I don't believe, however, maybe like you guys do, that if I think a magical, mystical thought. Even though I'm a man, all of a sudden I'm a biological woman. I just don't believe in magic. It has to do no, with no, their the genes. No, the, the, the question is, if that's genes. your belief system, why yeah. do you have to put, No, that's not your where trans is, other though. People? You don't even understand what a trans person is. It's a person yeah. whose brain feels like they should be female, but their body is male, and they find that it, frankly, is yeah. very dangerous. It's called gender dysphoria. Yeah, it's a disease, no, gender dysphoria. It There's it's a whole a disease. different, different it's a disease. thing, yeah, yeah, but, but it but, is but, not. Hold on, guys. But, but and it's on, guys. not any you of it. your business. Why is it your business what the exactly. other people Exactly. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Thanks. Well, you asked me. You asked me the question. They are done living their life like a woman. What business is it of yours? What's in their pants? How they were born? It's what makes them happy. I met somebody who was trans, and just happened to overhear him talking about it to someone else. And I said, you know, later I said, do you mind? I kind of overheard you saying you were trans. Is that true? And he said, yeah. And I said, are you happier now? And he said, yeah. I said, fine. None of my goddamn yeah, happiness, business. Happiness shouldn't be the moral standard. Uh, if the pedophile is, is, you, is, it is, is that okay? Yeah, how is it hurting? It's not your business. Yeah, so it shouldn't be. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. I had a question for you guys, too. Go ahead. Go ahead, yeah, can, we, can we pass this uh, around, too? Yeah, yes, I'll, I'll shut up after my question. I promise. Okay. So, do you we'll guys uh, do you guys believe that a biological man should be able to compete in a uh, woman's uh, women's boxing or wrestling? Go ahead, pass it around. You know, it's funny. Everybody assumes that that means the man would win. That has not proven to be the case at all. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Not every man so is a better okay boxer than every woman. I, yeah, you know what I'm okay with, Rich? I'm going to tell you something. You know what I'm okay with? I'm okay yes. with people living their lives. If they're not hurting anyone, if they are not um, telling me what to do and what to think and when to think it or what to eat or who to love or who not to love, we're okay I don't care. If someone was born, and I am telling you, they are born that way. I have a nephew as well. They are born that way. And it's nothing that anyone can do. Nothing. It has to do with their hormones, it's their DNA, it's their genetics. That's what it has to do with. And well, remember if, the question, could someone repeat the question? Second, if you cannot, as a Christian, as a Christian, as a Christian person, if you cannot accept all people, no matter who they are, then you're not a Christian. Because Jesus would, and would, if he was still on this earth, he would accept everyone. It would not matter to him if they were rich. Well, that's poor, not right. Rich, Jesus rich. said you oh, have to yes. be a Christian Jesus to make it to heaven, so you're wrong. Because no, there was Jesus. no Christianity while Jesus was alive. That Please. doesn't make any sense. Exactly. exactly. Well, I'm just correcting her error. That's all. Jesus didn't say everyone gets to heaven. No so. He did there. not say there anything. There was no he Christian was religion action. while Jesus was alive. It didn't come into being until <laughs> hundreds of years <laughs> later. Christian just means Christ-like. That's well, can, well, can we have to get to the question? Can believe in Christ, and, and then there's no, there's no thing wrong? You, if the you game of lesbians believe in, in Christ, time, are you still going to condemn them? You guys can answer the question. Are you okay with... Are you okay with I biological males? Yeah, I'm going first to on here. I, I'm first asking you this question. Are you going to say, tell me 
that if they believe in Jesus Christ, the gay and the lesbian, are you going to accept them or are you going to outcast them? Yeah. Simple question. Accept them where? Outcast them where? I don't get what. No. Simple question. Um, I think if they repented from their sin of homosexuality, they they would be led into heaven. Because Jesus did say repent. That's one of the Ten Commandments. Where are the Ten Commandments? Want me to read the Bible to you? I could pull it out for you. You listen. You're not going to read the Bible. It's a load of horseshit. Wasn't written by God. This doesn't answer my question. No. Yeah, he okay, can't answer the question. Believe in Jesus. Are you going to accept them? Uh, yeah, I, I think if they admit that it's a sin, and they're they're in, uh, made in the in the I didn't eyes. say that. I no. said no. the gay and the uh, okay, lesbian yes, believe mm-hmm. in well, Jesus. I'm Are you answer. going to accept them? I'm going to answer it. Don't twist Satan my words. Satan believes in Jesus. No, you Satan have a you have Jesus, a caveat. On your but he's not You're... going to heaven. Okay, stop. So Jesus, okay, one at a time. Don't attach him. He's he's got an opinion. No, no, as I don't. Well. It's okay. This is you guys. This will probably be the best the best show. You know, I'm going to answer, but no one it's answered easy. the question. Are you guys okay with biological males yes, competing okay, in women's yes. sports? I am okay. Okay, you're okay. As long as they're not hurting anyone else, I don't care what they do. And I know the other lady's okay. So what about the two guys? Are they okay with it? I don't know. I, David, are you okay with it? Well, okay. This is why I, I, I see it. Um, come on, David. Come to my side, brother. <laughs> no, I'm not coming to your side. Here. <laughs> this is how I see it. They should have a different category for, um, for, for trans, transgender athletes. And that will solve the whole oh thing. David, I agree with and David. And that's coming. David, uh-huh. you know it's no. the end of the world. We're in the last house. days when you and I agree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, you know, I, I'm yeah, thinking it, myself it, it, that, you know, we But yeah, go, right. go ahead, Naj. What do you think about it? Yes, yeah, Naj. I, yeah, I, I, I'll be brief. Like, avoiding that question, I, I just think it's interesting, like, when you talk to Trump supporters, and not only do you hear the bend towards authoritarianism, where they start to decide how other people should live, and... Yeah. They become judge and jury on how that person lives, and then the other part, which which is kind of just interesting don't teach is, it to our kids. Well, the other part no. that's interesting is just it's the fantastic contagious. way. Well, well, just hold on one second. Just, just the just the way that they'll change reality into what they want it to be. So, mm-hmm. this man earlier in his conversation said the Trump economy was great. Actually, the Trump no, economy no. was the recovery from. Uh, the COVID. Obama years after the economic oh. breakdown. Well, hold on, we'll get to COVID. We're not there yet. And then we get the COVID years, which was mismanaged, uh, where we had the supply chains and everything else bungled uh, by 45. And this economic miracle that they speak of never happened. The Trump years were not good economically for America. That was a period of trying to gain uh, what we had lost during the economic meltdown. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's interesting to see Trump supporters do this, where they, they just rewrite history and claim that, well, he's good at business, so therefore the economy was good. No, that didn't happen. Of course. Come on, Nash. And he's Nash, not good at business. Do me a favor. Come on, answer that question. Uh, what are, what's your opinion Bankrupt. on the biological male? Uh, I think it's sports. a YouTube and Twitter question that has been answered and talked about way too much. I think it's a way for Republicans and the right wing to avoid actual issues that affect people's daily lives in order to play into the hysteria of CRT, DEI, uh, transition, these things that they don't actually care about but they can use as a weapon to avoid conversation because this is the only party we've seen in the past 40 years who has come to election season without an actual platform. Yelling fix the border is not a platform. Yelling, they're trying to take your kid. They're trying to uh, program your kids in school. That's not a platform. So if you can, please list the things on a Republican platform that are not mantras to be screamed out, but actual policy that you can legislate. Yeah, hey, on, on his, we- on good his website, on his website, it's it, he's got a whole list there, and I know the Biden's website says the same thing. 
But Naj, dang it, I was so curious what you were going to say because I, I think you're actually a very highly intelligent individual. I mean that sincerely. I could tell because by the way you talk. And, sir, and all sir, you guys you, are. We talked for five minutes. We talked for five minutes. You seem to be buying time to avoid the question. So again, Republican platform. <laughs> actual you didn't answer my question. Answer mine. I'll answer yours. He did. We've well, already only told you, can you avoid. You just don't like them. But Naj didn't. The other guy did, yes, and I agree did. with the other guy. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. I, did. I don't know. Yeah, he did. did. I said well, he did. he yeah. was a former pro oh. athlete, and he, you know. And I would bet yeah, he was a pro soccer my... player. If there are women soccer issue. players, he would be better. Oh, That's okay. an answer. You didn't answer right. my question. Yes, ma'am. You didn't answer my question. question. So if the gay and the lesbian I'll, I'll answer your question too, sir. Christ, I'm sorry. Are you going to accept them or are you going to keep, keep playing the game that there's something wrong with them and, and we should do something with them? I, I will, what are we I will supposed to do them, with them, by the way? I will Does treat the them like, like they're children. children. We've them in that country, Bob. I, I'm going to answer. I will treat them like they're made in the image of God, very respectful, very kind. When I said I prayed the gay away, I meant Claudine gay. I was praying that they would get rid of okay. the plagiarists, and they did. So that's what I meant. I wasn't talking about, but Claudine Gay is also in the image of the I have another question for you, for you which, is, which is part of the women's agenda. When does life begin? Because I know what the Bible says. Life begins at first breath. What is your interpretation? This is the woman's okay. issue. I want to answer that other gentleman's, Naj's question, too, out of respect, if you still want me to, Naj. Yeah, keep, keep scrolling the web pages and see what you can find, sir. Anything. No, I'm not even on the web page. I'm kicking back here uh, drinking a uh, Canada dry ginger ale. Well, I have the American the flag in one hand and the Bible in the other and a MAGA hat on. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm, <just kidding. laughs> I'm sure it's rotting your brain. But, but, again, this is not a complicated question. Asking somebody who yes, says ahead, they're sir. a supporter of a party to give the platform of that party or reasons why they will vote for that party yes. legislatively, like, this is not a hard question. I will. I already talked about that, but I don't think you're on the line yet, but I'll say it again. So, uh, and I even talked about it. I was at a uh, rally in California in the belly of the beast, um, the Marxist area oh, of California, of Riverside, California. California. And, and here's what I noticed. I was a conservative Christian, still am, and there was a lesbian lady with the American flag and a megaphone, and and there were all different types of people. And and so here's here's what I noticed, what we all agreed on. So we were pro-life. That was important to us. I'm, I'm just telling you may disagree with this, but this is what the Trump supporters think. I know because I am one, and I know tons of them. And then also... Also, we also the we don't agree. You know how you, you guys said, well, if it's not hurting anybody, listen. There's many women getting hurt by biological males going into the women's restroom. One uh, another oh, woman was just assaulted by, by a biological one male. Two. I'm trying to never, so, so never, he can't, he can't answer the question. I, I, I'm answering it, but they're talking over me, Naj. And then, that, and then we want to build a big, well, beautiful wall. Awesome. I talked to Naj. I talked about that. That Naj, if you and I were in line, let's say at a, a pizza place, and I'm like, "Hey, I'm going to buy a pizza. We'll get some uh, a beer and stuff." And we're like eighth in line, and some people come and cut in front of us. You and I would be like, you know, that's not really morally right. And well, the people that are sure crossing over the, are doing cut scenes. Answer the question. Oh, yeah. So, so oh, that's I'm another reason why something. we're voting for something. Like, you guys okay, seem like you so, want so, open right. border. Stop. 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 Well, well, real, 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 real quick, so, so we heard ane- anecdotal stories about anecdotal why emotionally. Tell yeah, these are tell anecdotal the people, stories. At the, tell the people in Texas anecd- it's anecdotal, sir, my friend. Sir, 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 relax. These are anecdotal stories I'm about relaxed. why emotionally you're siding with a party. I asked you for legislative interest. Bills, actual things that can happen. Okay, okay. I, I, well, things. you must not have been here. I talked about the Supreme Court Sir, judges that he put now. in. 
that were pro-life. This has to do with legislation and changing laws. And we listen to this beautiful thing that happened. We, the Supreme Court justice got a wooden the Supreme Court justice got a wooden stake and drove it through that sinful thing called Roe versus Wade, which has been oh. genocide on okay. little babies. Isn't it such a yeah, now you day when they kill Roe versus okay. Wade? It was when great. When does life begin? There's life some legislation. begins at first threat if you believe so in you your Bible. you don't have policies you're interested in, you're a single issue voter. Got it. I just gave you a bunch of issues. I gave you the border. I gave you the economy. I gave you pro-life. I gave you uh, sports, you know, not, not having men okay, hurting our little girls in sports. <laughs> These are all legislative issues. issues. Every uh, single no, one of them. Listen, yeah, they all are. <laughs> okay, stop for a second. Rick, can we go back for a moment? Why is it that you believe that you can control my life? And my decisions of what I would want to do with my body. I'll, Why I'll do you answer think you. That you have the right. Stop. Why do you think that you have the right to control I do with my body? Why do you think you have the right? I'm gonna. And, I'm gonna answer. Go I'm gonna answer you. Okay. If you want to get, and I'm saying this very respectfully, if you want to go a hundred miles with your body down the freeway when the speed limit's sixty, oh, I got you, didn't I? You're being controlled. There's you laws saying, I, I, I'm almost about? done. <laughs> no, I'm almost done. Talking. There's laws saying you, that your body can't go over 60 miles per hour. Now, here's another thing. My if you want to do something is... with your body, breast, breast augmentation, wait, 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 lip wait enhancement, what, what go ahead. I, don't that, interrupt me. Don't that, interrupt that, me. I'm almost that's done. That's I'm almost done. But, but the you baby's know. not your body. Yes, Rick, you me, breast- excuse me, you said you're a Christian, right? You read the Bible, right? Does life begin at first breath? So, <laughs> no. Answer yes or no. It, it, it be, no, it it's begins a very before simple that. question. But Naj, so did you hear that Naj I was answering? If she wants to do something with her breast or her lips, that is her body, but she can't murder the baby. That's not her body. I somewhere I read, I'm going to ask somewhere again. I read we have the right to so liberty Christian, and the pursuit of happiness. Why we begin at first breath? breath? You will never answer that question. No, of course I just not. answered it. No, wait. Of course not. I will ask him something else. Since you are so concerned about life, will you go yes. get a vasectomy? <laughs> How about if we make a law that all men have to get a bisectomy? Okay, I yeah. would agree that if they're rapists, they should. No, they should just, I men. agree with that. All men, all men, oh, all look, men, look, because look, you're, look, you're look, picking look, on look, all of us look, women. Let, let me stop for a second. Okay, now, we go. hold on a second. Now, you just said if the man is a rapist. Now, if the man rapes the, a woman, let's say he rapes me and I get pregnant from this man that raped me, do I have to have his child? I'm asking um, you. The, the, law, the law states uh-huh. in some states you, you probably can uh, kill and murder your innocent child because the child's I innocent. Murder an innocent. Would you agree? Child it's a fetus. I did not want from a fetus man that raped for baby. me committed a Why crime are you Latin? called rape. Do you understand that? Do you get that? It's a crime to rape a woman. The it's baby didn't crime. rape you. The baby's what? innocent. I'm going to oh, ask you that question again oh, since you're such a d- down-to-earth Christian. Does life begin at first breath? Or do no. you have a different definition because you're a conservative Christian? Now, no, give me your definition. A, a conception. And so it, it does a, not. The Bible says life begins at first breath. It's a well, fact. Well, actually, God said before you were in the womb, I, I knew you. The Bible okay, hold on, says, I want to go down the Bible route. The Bible is very pro life. It says that stop, life stop, begins stop, when it's. Stop. Stop. Everybody, everybody can stop talk at one time. Exactly. Okay, my question to you, well, Rich. Uh, the last time in Republicans. And answer a fucking question. 
Okay, hold on. Calm down, hey, there everybody. might be ladies present. present. Don't talk like that. There might be a lady present. Yeah, me. Okay, okay. Rich, Rich. I'm just teasing. How do you feel about log cabin Republicans? Do you think they belong in the Republican Party since the Republican Party has gone so far right? What do you think about log cabin Republicans who are gay Republicans? About what? I, I, I honestly log can't hear cabin Republicans. Yeah. Oh, log Republicans. cabin. They're log mm-hmm. cabin mm-hmm. Republicans. And, and who? Yes. who who are, what's your name that's talking, your first name that's talking that's to David. me now? Mm-hmm. David, David. I, man, David. I'm so glad we, you and I at least agreed on one thing. It gives me hope for humanity about mm-hmm. the, having a separate category. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember I agree with George Bush Sr. Um, they were asking mm-hmm. him about homosexuality and stuff. And he goes, yeah, mm-hmm. not really, and I can't really get into that, he said. So because his um, daughter was all gay. the three, all the three major religions call homosexuality a sin. You guys know that Islam, no, we don't know Judaism, that. and Christianity. They they all call it a sin. So I, I don't. I no, think we're don't. kind of beating a dead they uh, need to <laughs> or something. Brush up on your Judaism because they don't. Yeah, and, and they also say ago, that those, those life begins when the baby control. takes their first breath. And that the and, mother and is not yeah. a separate being from a person inside the, her body that can't live. Uh, if you had a you t- guys uh, know, if you, if you had a you t- t- and had the doctor remove it and it dies, isn't that taking another life? It's a parasite living in your body. Supporter. They're not going to use logic. They're going to use emotion. That's what they do. I think you misunderstand that you can be logical and, and be very interested in a topic. You don't have to be like a robot. You I don't you, think you you're a robot, of course. Well, well, you, you, you can be very be, emotional. Well, you, I mean, look well, at the well, pro-abortion well, people. These people are the most oh, emotional people I've ever seen in my life. Because you're oh, pumping oh, no. all over our oh, oh, rights. No. That's right. And they want to use your religion to force... The laws of this country. Our laws are based on the Constitution, not your friggin' well, Bible. You don't want to go to the Constitution Declaration where it says we have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. You might want to yeah. use a Marxist document for that abortion. No, you might want to understand that it's right for resisting Marx? people. You talking about Karl Marx? Or are you talking about Groucho Marx? I have no idea what you're talking about. Both, they have both no of them. To the conversation. Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, David, uh, no, no, I'm going to put a bunch of bullshit that's not true, and then assumes though. that everyone who disagrees with him is that anti-Bible. No, first of all, we don't believe that the Bible has anything to do with the Constitution. That's why this country was founded, to get away from the religious beliefs of the British where every time a king or queen wanted to sleep with somebody else, they had to change religion, and that meant that at the point of a sword, you had to change yours. Had nothing no, they, to do they with any foundation, any belief. They love God. They, 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 actually, the founders left a, government. They don't got talk over. Funniest, yeah, funniest thing Christopher Hitchens ever said. Mr. Saying? Jefferson, build up this wall. <laughs> Yeah, and all those great founding fathers who busy owning other people and raping them repeatedly, and good old Thomas Jefferson let his mistress, who he kept locked up in this private room in his house, let her keep her babies till there were two. Then he stole Thomas, them out from Thomas underneath Thomas Jefferson, his typical Democrat. <sighs> Thomas Jefferson well, well, was Democrat. Yeah, if you and back when Democrats and were the, the Demo- asshole, hold, hold on. things have changed well, since on. then. <laughs> the Democratic Party okay, of that era okay. was nice what? Talk, conservative. Let's, yeah, so the Democratic nice Party of that era was conservative. So it's interesting whenever I hear these people like, yeah, the Democrats uh, did this, the Democrats did that. Yeah, that was the party of conservatism at the time. The actual revolutionary the time, party things time have changed was the Republican since Party. Then. Exactly. Yeah, we know. We know. We, we all and, know And that. Republicans think, used to be only ma'am, caring oh, about oh. fiscal responsibility, and now they won't do a goddamn thing about anybody other than themselves. 
Oh, and by the way, you're talking religion. What about Trump? Everybody, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the best radio show ever. Not, I'm serious. Uh, okay, Naj, make your point and then Elaine. Gravity. Yeah, I'll make the point simple. So, again, when I asked about policy, the man got into emotional, mantra speaking topics. Again, uh, the whole MAGA mm-hmm. movement, the whole America First thing is an emotional feeling movement. It is not a movement yeah. that you actually inspect. Because when you inspect it, you say, wait a minute. Trump spent X amount of dollars and actually increased spending after Obama and spent more than Obama. Uh, His tax cut bill, which the majority of working Americans are now going to find out they're not going to get the tax return that they used to get back in the day because he sold out uh, the working class and gave a big tax cut to the 1% and made sure that the cuts that he gave to the working class declined and sunsetted year after year after year. We're now in year eight. And now those taxes are coming due, and they're hurting the working class. Then he said he's going to bring jobs back, and he's going to go to war with China. Guess what? uh, uh, Trade war with China. Guess what actually happened? The jobs didn't come back. We lost market share in soybeans and other agricultural uh, products, and other countries got those uh, deals that, you know, formerly went to China. And we had to pay out through the government treasury to the farmers to make up for their lost revenue. So, you know, when you talk to these MAGA supporters, just get to the issues because they won't talk about the issues. They'll talk about the emotional thing. What do you think about somebody, uh, a woman wrestling or boxing against a man? They'll talk about that's those a, things because they can't talk issue, about the though. issues because the yeah, actual yeah. issues, they have no standing. I'll end there. Because most people don't care about that. Most people don't care about boxing. You know, it, you know, it's just it's something that comes and goes. It has nothing to do with our daily lives that we have to go to work and that we have to, you know, make money and we have to take care of our kids, put food on the table, make sure there's gas in the car. Those are the bread and butter issues that we should talk about. Those are the things that we need to talk about. And inflation, well, by the way, is down to 2% now. Well, the- why do you guys think Biden? By the way, so these are the things that we need to talk to, because the other stuff we will never ever agree. I will never agree with the fact that I cannot control my own body. I tell you, I can and I will. And there's no you mean one, the baby. not even no one, that will stop me. That's how I feel about it. That's how strong I am. And this is how well, can I, much ask you guys, I will then work why, to get it repealed oh. again. It's as hard as I can, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to Can I ask you guys, the, why do you think that Biden's – seriously, it's not just me. It's look okay. at all these people uh, that okay. disagree with Biden. Why is his poll numbers so horrible? Listen it, to it's me. The economy, numbers, stupid, like listen, Bill Clinton poll said. numbers do not – listen – Poll numbers do not mean anything. If you've learned anything or paid attention in the past through the years, poll numbers, it depends on who they call. If they call all Republicans in one day, who do you think that they're going to, who do you think that they are going to say they want right now in this time? Trump. And if they call a Democrat in one day, they're going to say they want Biden. It's just how it is. So why do you express so much? Why do you think a poll means anything? When you talk to real people on the street or in a grocery store or anywhere, talk to them, and they will explain to you what they feel. A poll is nothing. I never, ever answer my huh? phone because I know it's probably a poll, and I won't answer it. I don't care. Yeah. It's dumb. Yeah. Well, when they're that drastic, though, like it's not just a poll. They're not that drastic. Right. They are not that drastic. In They're fact, not. as of today, Trump or Biden was ahead yeah. in his fundraising. He was ahead in his numbers. It changes from day to day. Doesn't mean from shit. day to day, from hour to hour. It depends on who no. you talk to, what state you're calling. It's that's what it means. Yeah. That's what it depends on. Forget about the polls. It's people that are going to vote, not the polls. People will vote. Well, 
you guys know who Carville is, right? James Carville. The yeah. guy said, well, you know what? It yeah. Is, it's the economy is stupid. Yeah. He's, he's even worried about Biden. He's like, some people are saying he's if Biden was your like, dog, well, I mean, it's like you'd put him so to sleep. Many you know, it's Trump like elder abuse pushing that guy. So Carville's that, worried. Are you guys worried that reality. Biden... No, are you I'm guys worried, worried that Biden's not going to win? Interviews talking about uh, how, no, I am not how Biden is right dead and, and Obama's really running the country and all kinds of QAnon nut casing and how uh, <laughs> JFK Jr. is coming back to be the president and all kinds of stuff. They ignore the fact that people are dead. They ignore the fact that they're believing in stuff that's not even remotely real and like you and your Bible. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah, well, and, and I was just know, add, can I just I add real, real quick? Uh, when I can Lord, I ask my Lord, question? Lord. Oh. Because our government is not based on the Bible. He, well, he's not going to answer. It, he's not going to answer any question legitimately. I, I think we all understand that. But yeah. I, I, would, I would challenge everybody to look up James Carville every election cycle. If he doesn't yep. say it looks like the Dem is in trouble in order to yep. drive turnout. Because time. at the well, end of the day, with that's what Carville is. Good. I hope well, it works. He didn't say with Clinton or Obama. Yep. Oh, he did. He, he did. did. He was worried about Oh, he, he, oh, he, he was worried about Obama. He does it all the time. <laughs> He's basically a joke. And if he does it guys... all the time and it works, he should keep it up. Okay, I gotta. I have someone here you don't with think me. You Trump lies on his ass constantly? Oh, I have some I, I have a question to ask him. Another question. I have someone here with me, and they're going to give you their I opinion. Like oh, ask God, please, please, please. Once a time, time. Once time. Time. Once time. time, and then, uh, and then turn okay, on let me just, Can I just have my friend say hello? Go ahead, Bill. Okay. No. Hey, I want you guys to listen. We Are all you know Biden's not going to win. Man? I've got to ask this question of you, Why of your, of your man Trump. He all is right, go such. Ahead. He doesn't. He doesn't follow the Bible. Look what. Look how many times he's cheated on all his wives. Look at the remarks that he's made. Look, he got. He, he was found guilty for for the Gene Carroll case. Now, how in the hell can you religious people, you so-called conservatives, who hold the Bible, back him? Aren't those sins? Aren't those sins? I'm going to answer it. So, So here's what happened. That Gene Carroll thing, I've been looking into that. Oh, and first of all, I remember I said Jesus. I asked the first question. Go to the first question. Don't I am. go sidestepping it. There's Biden and, and Trump on the ballot. If Jesus was on the ballot, I'd vote for him. So I have to choose between the lesser of the two evils, so to speak. They're, oh, all, they're both sinners. So I'm voting for Trump because Why? on that Gene Carroll uh, – I'm, let me answer the lady's question. On the Gene Carroll thing – we don't want her to start cussing at me again. Um, on the Gene Carroll thing – you know what's kind of suspicious, and you can Google this. She said she was a fan of Law and Order, and oh, her testimony it, matches exactly true. the Law and Order episode. Oh please! Don't you oh, find that geez. kind of very suspicious? Trump's personal life, <laughs> ha- him having <laughs> sex with with prostitutes. Go ahead and Google and it. You cheating guys. on, it's uh, really cheating on the law, 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 whatever her, her, her the current wife cheating on her now and and cheating on the on the others now that goes against the bible that is sin that is sin how yeah. can how can yeah, you so justify I, I'm answer it. him i'm going to answer it let's say let me answer so let's say i'm even going to put it like this let's say that biden was pure as the driven snow Joe Biden. I mean, Joe Biden. So I'm asking he was you about Trump. Trump. Not Trump. I am. I'm getting to that. That's my next thing, my dear. I'm not sure about the Trump first. Let's say, let's say Trump, uh, everything that you said was, was true and all these lawsuits against you know him are all real true. Let's say it was you all know true. It's true. But then, but then as a Christian, you know, I look at what they do. And when they're my president and when Biden goes in there, 
even though he, let's say he's acting like he's pure as the driven snow, he goes against my pro-life beliefs and he promotes the genocide of abortion. Don't interrupt me, please. I'm almost but done. But you know, I'm going to re-ask that Trump, question to you again. But, but you know, you've got your Bible the... in your hand, right? Does your life begin at less first breath? I, I'm answering. So, but Trump, let's say, using your analogy, I asked he's you less a of question. a, Don't tell me this. Of a Christian. Trump, Listen, Trump, oh, Trump, because oh, Trump I can't even did, answer the question. gave you your, your way. I asked so you listen, a question now going to the so Bible. Trump, Does life begin at first breath, yes or no? It's an I, easy question. I said question no, remember, at, at conception. Now, is there something wrong with your mental capacity? I asked you an easy question. I, I just answered Does it. Is there something wrong with begin at first breath? <laughs> So, and it's um, not funny. I answered the question like three or four times. No, you already. didn't. You guys know that. Does life begin at first breath? I, I have. The, the, even no, the other three will stick up for me and say that. We know that they they answered it. Can you guys hear me? Listen closely. Listen closely. Hey, I have a question for you. You have a conception. Episode relating it to E. Jean Carroll. You do know she was a very famous writer. I used to read her column all the time, and Law and Order takes its storylines from the newspapers, from current events. I would bet you that episode was based on her story. Does it make her story false? It means somebody thought what happened there was inspiring enough to write an episode of a very popular TV show. That's all it means. Well, it doesn't make her false. And she's I was, been telling I was, the same story was, for 30 fucking years. I was 45 seconds away from my ending of the, the answer of the other lady, and because she's saying, how could you vote for Trump if you're a Christian? Yes and what I'm no. saying is, that is Plain a good answer, because I'm trying to, you, you guys got to do better at letting the person talk, you know. So I, you got to do better at, at answering the, the questions. I, let me answer it. I look at what they do. And so if Biden is passing and pushing pro-abortion stuff, this is one, one uh, voting issue. Yeah, I have other ones. If he, number two. Choice. Get the terms straight. Pro-choice. C-H-O-I-S-E. Choice. Oh, please, you Democrats never met a baby you didn't want to kill. Let's be honest. So, Listen so, to me, Rick. Rick, one yeah. minute. You're, you're getting – listen. President Biden did not pass anything. It was the Supreme Court that uh, rolled back Roe v. Wade, not President Biden. I know. So you cannot, it was wonderful. Hold on. So you cannot blame him for that. Do you get that? <laughs> I'm glad you that happened. Blame him. No, you're blaming President Biden for what, hap- what happened um, with Roe v. Wade. And, no, um, no, I'm not blaming President him for Biden that. Had nothing to do with it. Yes, you. That's what you're I'm saying. I'm not blaming him for that. I'm blaming him for well, constantly still so trying to murder more him? babies. No. What has he got to do with abortion? He didn't have anything to do with with he's always, his whole life. He's always promoting it. It's, uh, it's he's he's always court. out there promoting mm. abortion. Oh and my God! He he is not, to me. That's go to true. CNN and pull it up. He's always at these pro-abortion rallies. Speaking. Oh yeah, and you know, do you know that? Trump was pro-choice years ago. Yeah. Did you know that? I do know that. Pull that that up in your Google. Pull that up in your Google. Yeah, he was. You know what was means passed. So you're just proving my point to me. Now he's a Christian. (laughs) Now he's a Christian, and he's a conservative Christian, so now he is no longer a sinner, right? No, but see, this is, you make a very good point. You make a very good point. Your point is wrong. Look at what they do. Not what they how what they no, say they no, are. I'm Everyone's sorry, a sinner. Your God, President Trump, is telling you. Have you looked up Project Twenty Twenty Five yet? Have you looked that up? Oh, it's a wonderful project. Oh, okay. So you want then it's why not don't a you, human? Listen to me. Why don't you get on the next plane that takes you to Russia or China, and you can live there because you would be perfect over there. Perfect. Well. I think you mean you. You, like you guys would like China because they have that forced abortion. 
No, you're full uh, of I'm shit. I'm pro life. They, they do, do not have forced abortion. They do not. You're full of shit. That was years ago. He is full of shit. And that was years ago. That was years ago. That was overpopulation. That, was overpopulation. that is why. And now they're sorry that they did it because they have too many elderly people in the country. So please, before you spew stuff, know what you're talking about. Oh, I know I what I'm talking about. No, you don't. I mean, I've been nice yeah, for long enough, but you are not going to put anyone down on this panel because we have as Who put many, down? Our, our opinions. Our opinions matter just like yours does. We will never agree. We will never agree because what you see in front of you is not what's going to happen. Trust me. Why are you Trust so me. obsessed with killing babies? So that's, it seems like it's oh, almost like a no, 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 Everybody calm down. You're calm down. So okay. obsessed with okay. that with, with your with your ding dong. Why don't you get a bisectomy <laughs> and quit impregnating okay, women? Rich. rich. I agree. Mm-hmm. All right, Rich, Rich. Okay. In the case show. of um I'm Rich, sure you guys can I make a can show I ask everybody. a question, Rich? Yes, sir. Rich, if somebody oh if, if a young woman or younger is raped <laughs> by an uncle or her father or whatever or, yes. you know, or, or a brother, do you think that child, she should have that child? Yeah, so I'm going to give you my honest answer. Let's even make it real personal. My sister or my mm-hmm. wife, you know, we're Christians. So we oh. would say, mm-hmm. you know what? L- listen, I know you're not going to like that we saved the baby's life because you guys never met a baby you don't want to kill. But I would say, oh no, God. you know what, we're Christians. No. No, for Christians, let's go ahead about, no, no, and keep the baby. You're talking That's right. about I know you're, you're mad that we're babies. keeping the You're talking baby. about killing children. Well, what about Abbott in Texas? He told the border, let them drown. He doesn't care if it's a mother with children. Let them drown. Don't you dare take them out of the river. And a woman and her children drowned. So you tell me about murder. You hypocrite. This is going to be your you best show hypocrite. ever, you guys. Seriously. This you is are a good. hypocrite. All right, well, Rich. You, thank you, you so much. Well, you tell me about that. Also. And, he, and that, was, mm-hmm. that was on the local news, the, the supper time news, the regular station. But, he but told to answer David's David question, control, David, uh, we, would, uh, we would keep the baby. I mean, David, what if that baby was you? Woman with the two children, that's okay for them to drown, right? That's okay for them to drown. You're a hypocrite. We would keep the baby. What well, we would keep it, David. That's that's, that's, that's right. Texas, wait a minute, Rick. Well, then you know he what? probably what? believes that cousins should marry cousins. Well, yeah, if an uncle can impregnate his niece, he's all for it. So I gather your cousins can marry cousins. Rich? Okay, well, I'm going to show you guys. I have encountered in a long time. Okay, we're going to have a caller. Welcome, Carla. What's cooking tonight? Hi, this is Carol from Chicago. Could I call? Uh, is the yes, Mr. yes, yes, talk. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hi, Mr. Phillips' friend. I want to just run some things by you. I just got done posting in a mega group. Okay? See, are you aware that almost twice as many Republicans died from COVID as Democrats? And, and I know you probably won't mm-hmm. believe me, so I've, I actually do have the references for you from the Journal of American Medical Association. Mm-hmm. And from um, other sources, what DeSantis did, Governor DeSantis, he tried to hide this because his yeah. public health nurse was really frightened at the high numbers of Floridians dying. And he fired yeah. her. And he didn't just fire her <clears throat> for keeping track of it, but he tried to um, say if you had a residence in New York and you also had a residence in Florida, then he, he said, well, you might get counted twice, so we won't count the Florida death, even though they were living okay. in Florida when they contracted it. So, that's so are you vaccinated? Yes, yes. So here's what the, the Journal of American Medical Association said. It is a long article. It t- details its uh, 
uh, PDF, but it's on uh, the web. But basically what they said was that when COVID first came out, everybody got it. It didn't, there was no difference, okay? The difference occurred in two states they studied, Ohio and Florida. The difference occurred after the vaccines were introduced and the masking was introduced. Then you begin to see a, a difference by um, politics. Now, this is after they weeded out age differences, other infirmities, age differences, and so on. So in other words, they've accounted for all that, those differences, and it still comes out almost twice as many Republicans died as Democrats. And they attribute that to attitude on vaccination and masking. So the time, at the time, um, Mr. Trump wanted to be elected. He was afraid for the stock market to show bad results. He, did, he downplayed it. He modeled by his actions disrespect for the scientists, and he uh, muzzled some of them. He muzzled the CDC, forcing them mm-hmm. to keep changing their message, which confused the, the people. Now, it's true that they didn't have all the answers when that COVID came out. They were struggling to figure it out. <clears throat> but when you have a president that models disrespect for the medical association and stands up and speaks uh, about uh, untested and unvetted uh, so-called cures, such as drinking bleach, which many people did, by the way. Um, there were also uh, silver, uh, coil silver was offered. Uh, ivermectin was offered. There were, you know, what's horse dewormer and whatever. All of these things are really dangerous. They can kill you. But he, he advocated them, and so did the mega pastors. <clears throat> so I believe if they want to get up in church and say these terrible things about medicine, which they know nothing about, they should be willing, instead of asking you for your donations and tithes so they can have a million-dollar airplane, they should be paying mm-hmm. for your funeral or your medical expenses mm-hmm. because they misled you. And uh, we I'm have so- now... Well, here's what the here's what the 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 death rates are in the, in the world in the world the U.S. Can has I the answer most that? Yes, more than India. Can I answer India, that? India is a, yes, India is a filthy country. Why should we, with running water, sewage, and all this, why should we been sicker than India? Now so, I'm interested in your answer. Yeah. So here's here's my thing. Uh, I got, I had COVID, COVID light, diet COVID, chocolate COVID, <laughs> you know, I think I had COVID before, you know, there's a song I was country before country was even cool. Uh, so I had COVID. Um, and, and then did you hear about Jill Biden has had COVID multiple times. She's been double vaccinated, boosted. There's a meme huh? where it shows her next to Joe Biden and she's in the hospital bed and the doctor said, well, well, Joe, she's got COVID again. And, and he said, after being double vaccinated and multiple boosted, well, give her another one. <laughs> what is, what is so, so funny about it, 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 it basically, about it. I don't know if no, these seriously. vaccines are too effective, if you ask me. <laughs> no, well, okay, well, you, I will give right. you another thing. Uh, no, now you've really hit a nerve with me. Let me I had a family me. member, I had a family member, okay, that was a MAGA. He believed everything Trump was saying about COVID. He had he was a widower. He was in his late forties. Two children. He refused to get vaccinated. His brother got very, very sick from COVID. Very sick. And and he was vaccinated. So he told his brother, Please get vaccinated because I got sick and I was vaccinated. And he said no. He laughed at his face. He said nobody is going to tell me to get the vaccine. And you know what happened to him? He died. Ten days. He died of pneumonia. His lungs turned into yeah. crystal. He could not breathe. He died in the hospital. Now he has two yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Without, Sincerely. Two children with no parents. So do not laugh at COVID shots. Well, well, let me just tell you something. I, I'm sincerely sorry that, that he passed, um, but do you but know more what? people have died? 
with the vaccine from COVID than no, without. I, and no, no, some no, people no, no, no. Do, you know that? No, 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 no. There's a thing with that near pipe and smoke. It's propaganda. No. Yeah. I'm a medical person. We're not going to twist it because I just told it. you a very personal story. Do not yeah. turn it around. I'm just twist. telling you the truth. More people have died yeah, from COVID true. that have been yeah. vaccinated than have not. Yeah. I know you don't like it, but facts don't care about our feelings. Not, I'm sorry I about your. Here's, here's the facts, okay? The vaccines were designed for a specific configuration of COVID. So it's like a key. It jams the door, and you can't open the door, okay? But that, 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 that COVID floats around, mutates, and it finds a way around that particular key. So the mm-hmm. longer it floats in society, the more it adapts and mutates, and then the vaccine is no longer going to completely wig it out. So then at that point, you have to have another vaccine. So can you catch it with the vaccine? Because I've had all of them. And still yeah. die? Of course you can because it keeps changing. And the vaccine is only good for a certain amount of time before it changes and goes around it. It doesn't mean the vaccines are not worth getting. It means that the, the longer this virus goes on, if people like you do not take the vaccine, do not wear a mask, the more it has a chance to adapt and come back again. That's what it means. Why well, do you think, think there's a new flu shot every fact. year? That the old one doesn't Politifact. work. It's because Politifact they mutate and need to be changed all COVID. the time. And how about you listen to real facts instead of your horseshit that you keep spouting that's not remotely verified by anyone of any intelligence or medical degree? The yeah, same that's reason that's we true. have to I, get a new flu shot every year is because things I, change. That's right. And I'm not a big fan. Can I? I mean, can I, I just can, read I can, this little paragraph? I, Since April 2022, I, I just people vaccinated just against COVID-19 have comprised the majority of COVID-19 deaths. The majority. Okay? Yeah, you guys so need to just happened. grow up well, and yeah, face the, the, the facts. I'll give it to you right now, sir. So it's 77% of our pe- population. Po- right now, politifact.com, and you can just Google it. Politifact. So it says. I'm sorry. It says since the April Association, 20- you're not reading from the Journal of Medicine. It's the CDC. You're from it's the CDC's data. You know what the CDC is, right? The Center for Disease Control. Yeah, but that's since not since April. Politifact. Since April Politifact 2022. People vaccinated against COVID-19 have comprised the majority of COVID-19 deaths. But I'm going to tell you why. Because the majority of people were vaccinated. No, sir. I want to tell you something. We have 77% now in the blood, 77% of our population, that's three-fourths of our population, have had COVID, and some of them don't even know it. So some of them have gotten a very light... They may have gotten a light case and not known it. They may have gotten vaccinated and got such a light case they didn't know it. But the, it's in the blood now that 77% yeah. have antibodies for it. That means there's 25% like myself that have never had it. And, of course, I don't go to rallies. I don't go expose myself in restaurants to this day for that reason because I have other conditions. Now, here's another thing you didn't consider medically in your when you read. You've got to understand. There, this became politicized. So when it became politicized, people would point to anything but the actual primary cause of death. So they'd say, well, so-and-so has diabetes and asthma, and that's why they died. It wasn't really COVID, okay? And they tried to say that the COVID numbers were exaggerated. Remember that? I do. Yeah. So let me tell you why why that doesn't work. When we had... 3,000 people die on 9-11. You can bet your bottom dollar. Probably 90% of them have something, some unreported, undiagnosed, underlying condition. We don't right. say they died because they fell from the, from the, they died from diabetes and they fell off the tower. We say the primary cause of death was falling off the tower. 
And exactly. it's the same with a car accident. It's the same any any kind of primary cause is the the catalyst that causes organ failure or whatever else happens to you, even if you have an underlying condition. So the primary cause in COVID was COVID, even though they might have had uh, liver failure or kidney failure or maybe diabetes or something else, they would still be living if they hadn't gotten that COVID. Well, I don't know. If you, that's more like a conjecture. That's not science. You can't say they would still be living. Yes, I mean, how you would you know that? COVID was listed uh, as the primary cause. Because, because it says... It says right here on PolitiFact, and I just randomly pulled this up, but I can pull up a zillion different sites. Uh, even CNN had it, Fox News, if you prefer them. But it says since April 2020, yes, let me just finish my sentence. Since April 2022, people, people vaccinated against COVID-19 have comprised, listen, the majority of COVID-19 deaths in the U.S. compared with unvaccinated people. Now, to the lady that was talking uh, with the medical facts, do you know what percentage of people in the U.S. received at least one shot, one vaccine? No, not no. I only know 77 I know. of them have had COVID. I know. It, it was about 80% of, 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 of the United vaccine. States, at least That's one, they've received vaccine. one shot. Interesting. I'm in the 20%. I didn't get the okay. vaccine. Rick, mm-hmm. can I ask you one question? Why does it yes, matter? If, if I decide that I want the COVID shot, if I decide yeah. that I want the COVID shot, and you don't yeah. get the COVID shot, what does it matter? So this whole thing It doesn't matter. I agree with that. Yeah, obviously it does to you. It, 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 no, it doesn't. Whole thing turned into it doesn't politics. matter. I am telling you that the family member in my, fa- in my family, in my extended family, was a Republican MAGA supporter, and he would not get the vaccine. His brother is also Republican, and he did get the vaccine. So what I'm telling you is it was, it is political. It was political for him, and it killed him because maybe there was a chance that he could have lived if he would have taken the vaccine. That's my point that I'm trying to make. And so I, I don't care about PolitiFact or anything else, because when you have someone that dies because they didn't get the vaccine, then I'm sorry, you, it's a sad situation. So you cannot, you know, it's not political because it is political. Uh, I, I totally, let me agree with you. Let me agree with you. I, I totally agree with you that it is political. However, we can't deny the fact that the majority, and, and seriously, I, I I'm sorry for your your loss with your brother, I believe it was. I really mean that sincerely, seriously, with the utmost highest respect. But um, I'm, what I'm saying is there are people that have had the vaccine that have died from COVID, and there's it says that vaccinated people since April 2022 have comprised the majority of COVID-19 deaths in the U.S. compared with unvaccinated people. Now, let me just finish. I'm not saying the vaccine killed them. I'm not, I'm not even going that far. It could have, it could not have, but it could be that the vaccine just ain't worth a bucket of spit and people, Mm -hmm. just the majority of people that have the vaccine have died because look at what's happening with, with Jill Biden. The poor thing's got COVID a million times and she's stuck up like stuck like her uh, grandma's pin cushion with needles in her. He's healthier than Trump and don't even bring that up again because that's very disrespectful. Okay? What's disrespectful? Well, let me talk about about our president. Very disrespectful. No, Jill Biden. Jill Biden's had the. Yeah, Jill Biden's been boosted and vaccinated like a zillion times and she's always getting COVID. So you are making it political again. And how do you no, know? No, I, I'm talking about the drunk. efficacy of the how vaccine, you know? that it's, it's basically how worthless, you know? okay. it appears by it's not had 10 it's, vaccines. Right, we'll have, okay. We'll, we'll have it's limited only, time in our thing. Back in the day, in the 1930s, when polio was a thing, everybody, or people were dying of polio. And people got polio vaccinated. Now, today in this day and age, you know, people not dying yeah. from polio. 
So, you know, um, yeah, it's a good thing when vaccines come and the CDC approve them and everybody Agreed has up it. with that. Yeah, that's a good thing, you know? So, and TV. Uh, and, and, and small you know, packs, this pack, by the way, is coming back. And small packs. And measles. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I agree with that, David. But this okay, vaccine doesn't seem to be worth the buck of the spit. No, because you've <sighs> let it run. Because, you because it evolves. You it spread it. It evolves and mutates the longer you keep it in the population. Let me tell you, you know what they did in the old days. Typhoid Mary, ever heard of her? She had typhoid. She was an immigrant to this country. And in those days, they mm-hmm. didn't fool around. I was almost going to say something else. They didn't fool around. <laughs> they put her on an island, and they wouldn't let her enter the United States. And she had to live alone on that island because at that time mm-hmm. they had no way to stop typhoid. And by putting her in isolation, total and complete isolation, they couldn't, she couldn't spread it. They did the same for leprosy mm-hmm. in Hawaii. They put them on an island because mm-hmm. there was no treatment. And it spread, and your limbs mm-hmm. would fall up. Your nose would fall up. Mm-hmm. That's what they did in the old days. And quite frankly, we should have had a hard close down, a very hard close down, mm-hmm. you know, just like Italy did. Italy had truckloads of bodies in the street. And those Italians could not leave their apartments or homes to shop for groceries. Only one person in a whole family could do it. And they had to have a, mm-hmm. like a hall pass. And the police checked that hall pass. And that's why they went into the stores with their masks on. And they, because Italy mm-hmm. didn't want to see truckloads of bodies continue. Here in the United States, mm-hmm. Trump didn't have the guts to set, set it down on a hard shutdown for three months. And instead, it mm-hmm. floated and it mutated. And it's still mutating because you still have people like my state that said uh, wear masks. You, I can't tell you how many times, because I was doing a house at the time, I went, had to go and pick out paint and uh, different supplies, and people would walk in with defying the governor's orders, wear, not wearing their masks, spreading their germs everywhere. That's why the vaccines are not working. It's people can I like ask a, you. Can I ask a medical question? Doesn't it seem yes. almost logical that you'd be better off to get COVID while you're healthy and build up, like you said, your antibodies? Well, and by healthy, the way, David... David, KFF.org has that, has that. What if you're not uh, healthy and you don't know it? Underlying condition. What if you have that? Yeah, it's good to get a checkup with your doctor. And then the doctor says, yeah, yeah, everything you. An underlying condition. I'm answering it. I'm answering it. Listen, it says CDC data shows that. About six in ten adults dying of COVID nineteen were vaccinated or boosted. He doesn't understand. And that's remained okay. true through at least August twenty twenty two. This is KFF dot okay. org. Okay. So these are okay. Last I'm giving you the facts. facts. I'm not giving you more questions before I can let you go. Last question. Yes, David. Go ahead, David. Okay, last question. Uh, do Do you think Donald Trump will get a nomination, and who do you think he'll pick as his running mate? Hmm. Okay. So I think, uh, did you guys, I think he's, he's going to get the nomination for sure. I'm going to predict mm-hmm. on your show, David, I'm going to make a prediction mm-hmm. in about 14 mm-hmm. days or so. And if I'm wrong, you mm-hmm. guys can rub it in my face. Uh, Nikki Haley is going to drop out. Um, mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. I, I'm guessing about 14 days from now, whatever today is the 28th, you guys. Um, mm-hmm. did, did you hear that they wanted Kennedy that Trump was pulling yeah, around Robert with the Kennedy. Yeah. Yes, yes. What do you Robert think about Kennedy. that? Uh, it might well, be a way, think, a way uh, to bring Robert you Kennedy and I Jr. together, all of us together. <laughs> no, Robert Kennedy Jr. Deal with the is devil, not the nicest part of Norris uncle. Robert Kennedy Jr. is a crackpot and probably crazy, the drugs that he did. <laughs> you know, like fried his bread. Why voice like that? And he, you know what? His, he talks kind of like his voice is. Do you have a disease or something? Well, yeah. no, he did drugs uh, in his youth and everything. It really messed up his voice box. It almost killed him. Uh, but, you know, the okay. ideas of what, you know, what, 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 what he, you know, out there about, um, you know, different shots and different, um, you know, everything causes autism, what have you, with the shots and with the vaccines and different vaccines. He's not a medical doctor to, 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 to you know, say things like that. 
you know, and he's yeah. not a Democrat. I'm sorry. He's just Democrat in name only. He's not like his father. He's not like his Uncle Ted or Uncle John, who was president. He's a crackpot. He's a loon. I'm sorry, you know, and, you know, I think this is the end of the Republican Party if they choose Trump again because of pr- choosing, uh, you know, a, a, a dictator over principles, over the Constitution. I think it's dangerous. You know, in America, well, if that don't happens, I'll just have to join your group. Thing. I'll just have to join your group, or that one lady says, your effing group. <laughs> yeah, well, I, um, I have a question right. for you, if you, if you want to entertain it. Um, quite frankly, I believe Trump is going to be convicted. He's got five or six different uh, lawsuits and stuff going on. Um, what would happen to the Republican Party if you put all your eggs in his basket and he's convicted of insurrection and something else and he's knocked off the ballot? Because already 13 states have actually removed him from the ballot. Yes. I think mm-hmm. what's going to so happen if they done? start knocking him off, they're going to – you've heard what um, DeSantis said. He said, well, we can get Biden off the ballot. Well, the the red states will start do. I, I don't agree with that, by the way. But the red states will mm-hmm. say, well, then we can say because he hasn't been protecting America and he's been letting the illegal immigrants do cut. Oh, things. Jesus so, Christ! So that's what they're saying. Well, uh, but okay, David, to answer your you. question, I would like. Here's gonna... my vice president pick, Rand Paul. <laughs> That'd be my, oh, best my vice Lord. president Rand pick. Paul was very no, no. Oh God. Run Paul. Oh yes. My God, we go. Well, who would you well, like, David, for the Republican? That's I mean, that's it. uh, it's not just that they removed him from the thing. Even if the Supreme Court mm-hmm. allows him to be on the ballot, our Constitution will not allow him to run for office if he's convicted of leading an insurrection. And he's got two that could do that to him, the Georgia case and the other case. Mm-hmm. Now, everybody exactly. So. A lot of the people that were in on it have already testified against him to save their own ass. Okay, Mm -hmm. so you could be in a situation where at the last minute there's a conviction that comes in and he's completely Mm -hmm. gone and you've got, what, a month or six weeks before the election. We're going to do that. Mm. You've got to have a backup plan, and I don't see it in the Republican Mm -hmm. Party. There is no backup plan. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, David, I, I'm gonna. I want to be very respectful because David's so nice. All you guys have been so nice. I really do love you guys. And all okay. joking aside, uh, about your brother passing, I'm really sorry to hear that. I know lots of people that were unvaccinated and vaccinated that have passed Thanks. from that dreadful disease. Do you guys b- believe mm-hmm. that it really was like caused by a bat? some guy eating a bat or do you believe it was from the lab? I don't mean to get political, but I really sincerely. Uh, yeah. I have I no idea. idea. No idea. Uh, I believe mm-hmm. it was because, mm-hmm. because of the so fact that. People have been uh, eating bats forever. So I'm yeah, kind of right. leaning towards the. Mm-hmm. I, I lean towards the lab. Lead, mm-hmm. And I, I'm going to tell Me you too. as a medical person, I've researched a lot of stuff that's not known to the public. And almost every country in ours, including ours, has research labs all over the place. And they do secret research. And sometimes they, we've actually had monkeys get loose. They were highly infected with oh my uh, stuff God. that they were testing. And they couldn't tell anybody. Mm. So they would, like, <laughs> place these monkeys around in, near the lab, and, and the small town and, uh, wouldn't know what the hell was going on. That has happened oh more gosh, than that's once. that's so funny. Yeah, it mm-hmm. is. Oh I mean, it's happened. Mm-hmm. And it happened with Ebola, too. They, they were doing some research on Ebola, which is bloodborne, and some of the test animals were running mm-hmm. around and detecting them. And they never, ever, mm-hmm. ever make this known to the public. You have to go and mm-hmm. dig and dig and dig through um, medical journals, and uh, there used to be certain groups that would expose that kind of stuff that goes on, you know, like weaponizing viruses and tried to do that. They did a mm-hmm. lot of police stuff in the Department of Defense and stuff. Mm-hmm. Now, with the Internet being more sophisticated, they have that information kind of locked up. But 10 years ago, you could still trip over it. And they don't t- mm-hmm. they never tell anybody what's going on. They just chase the monkeys around and try to, you know, contain the, the problem. 
But it's happened multiple times here in New York. So it's, it's entirely mm-hmm. possible. And no country, even China, is overpopulated. They're not going to deliberately let loose a virus on their own people. You know, nobody mm-hmm. wants to mm-hmm. lose all your little warriors. Yeah. You know what I mean? So there's no, there's no mm-hmm. motive for them to do it on purpose. Yeah. All right, Rich, thank you so much for calling yes, in sir, tonight. Thanks for having um, me. You know, thanks for great, having me, yeah, David. I love great. you guys. Yes, sir. Yeah, thanks All so right. much. All right, thanks. That was Rich from California and everything. Actually, because I don't – the polls are looking all over the place right now. I know people don't really trust polls, especially since 2016. No. But that's how we're going to um, – we're going to go forward from there. And I want to dive a little bit more into that. I just got word that Rich is calling in, so uh, go ahead and bring Rich in. Rich, how are you doing? We got private voters. Rich, in welcome to the show you? from California. Hello, Rich. I am doing I am doing excellent, you guys. Thanks for having me again. I want you to know I'm here with my uh, MAGA hat on, and I have like right. a American flag caped over me. And as I mm-hmm. said, that a, an eagle, a bald eagle, just flew by. Now I want to answer Lori's question real quick. Uh, and I'll make it mm-hmm. short. Like, you know how you're saying, well, why doesn't Biden go on TV? Somewhere I remember someone said, never underestimate Joe Biden's ability to screw things up. <laughs> that was Obama that said that. Well, you know, if, if Biden went on TV, he'd be like, we hold these truths to be self-evident. You know the thing. You know, it's, guys, come on. If he was our dog, we would put him to sleep. But this is getting to be like elder abuse just trotting this guy out here. I, I think it's over for Biden. I mean, have you guys seen the no, poll today? You can't well, it says you know what? NBC wait, wait, listen, Trump, says listen, that the – Listen, Trump yes, can't drink a bottle of water without, like, looking, looking, looking stupid. And he can't put two sentences that make sense uh, together. You know, so if anything, it's um, – you know, your guy, Donald Trump, has to worry about, you know. He's incoherent in his speeches. He can't walk on uh, some steps by himself. Uh, he defecates upon himself. Uh, he wears adult diapers. You know, he, he uh, gropes women, grab them by the pussy. You know, all that good Bill thing. Clinton? So, oh. No, okay, he's so worse than Bill Clinton. Did Bill Clinton rape anybody? No. Well, actually... Hold on I don't want to say anything because you know how the Clintons tend to get a little murdery. Have you seen the Clintons oh, murder? Oh, no, come on, no. Don't even start with <laughs> the Clintons. The Clintons, the Clintons are years ago, they're gone, they're not in the government, they don't do anything, okay? They're living their lives, and they do speak once in a while, but they're living their lives. So they are not part of the story. What the part of the story is right now is your man Trump, the orange monster, the leading in the poll. and President Biden, and President Biden, they can talk. If you were to put President Biden and Trump on the same stage, President Biden can get him with facts and figures immediately. The only thing that Trump has over him is that he's got a big mouth, and he doesn't shut up. That's the only yeah. thing. And he will, why exactly. is my last question to you, and then I'm going to let Eric talk to you. Um, my last okay. question to you is, why has, why has Trump refused, if he is the nominee, to have a debate with President Biden? Why you does mean he refuse with Biden? to do that? Yes, he refused. Or do you mean with uh, Nikki Haley? He will not have a debate. He will not debate. He said that already. So why? Oh, why is that? Um, I didn't didn't read that, but I'll take your your word out that. Well, you know how Trump's uh, you, uh, not debating Nikki Haley. It's probably the same reason he probably thinks, well, I, I'll defeat Biden without even having a debate, and he'll. And I, I think the same thing with Nikki Haley. But on NBC right now, it says. NBC polls show Trump's lead over Biden growing 47 to 42. And, and NBC, you know what the right wingers call it, MSN, <laughs> MSNDC, uh, they're like the DNC. And so I don't know. It's, I mean, I don't know if Biden's going to be able to pull a rabbit out of the hat. Polls do not vote, Rich. Polls do not vote. People vote. Well, now, every single day I get calls from polls. 
from from you know from whole pe- take, takers or whatever you call these people, yeah. I won't answer them. There's no way I'm going to give them my opinion. So it's, it's I really never no get to... a call. So who the hell do they yeah. call? <laughs> exactly. And you know what? If they call 25 people, and out of that they get 10 people for Trump and uh, five people for Biden. Oh, whoopee! But Trump is up, oh, 40%. You know, that's what I'm talking about. People are the ones that vote, not your pollsters. They do not vote. Those people get paid to do that job. That's all they do. That is it. So I don't care about polls. Polls are, are, are mean nothing to me, okay? When, it, when we count our ballots and we see who wins at the end, that's when we can talk. Not until then. Well, I don't want to hear. Do you, do you guys think that the majority of Americans trust Biden more with the economy or Trump? Because on MSNBC, okay. it says 55 percent trust Trump. So you're saying that all these people, these very liberal yes. and left-leaning yes. news outlets are lying. Yes. Well, yes. Why? Well, why? Well, why would we're, CNN we're, lie? What are you saying? Wait a minute. Everybody, why are you getting these numbers? numbers? Oh, Where do you guess? Wait, hold on. Yeah. CBC like, News like, hold today. Hold on a second. Everybody, let me step in right quick. Let me just say this. Go here's ahead, the only Eric. Here's the way that I can answer that question. The, the, that, the reason why I can't say straight yes or no to that one, whether it be Biden or Trump or whether it be anybody else who ran in the past or anybody who's going to run in the future, here's the thing about that. And I'll tell you, I've seen this firsthand. And I've, I've really learned this after 2016 uh, because – that both candidates were essentially tied in the polls throughout most of the elections, as with 2020, and as kind of what we're seeing now. There are a lot of people out there on the left and the right who kind of lie and are secretive about who they're voting for. I know one person who was backing, supposedly backing Hillary throughout all of 2016 up until about November 7th, the 6th or the 7th. And then on November 8th, she posted that she was voting Trump. And I've seen people do the same thing on the other side. So that's why she's saying that the polls are not 100% reliable. We saw that in 2016. You got a lot of people on the right who might not like Trump and might be embarrassed by him because of his outlandishness. They might say they're voting for him, and some of them might secretly not, or vice versa. They could be afraid to admit that they don't like him, and they're just going to say the same thing might happen on the left. And there's not going to be a lot of people not voting at all anyway, and some people are going to vote third party. That's why I say right now there's not a surefire way to tell. Now, I still only look at the polls sometimes just to get an idea of where we might be at, and I'm looking at some of the polls in the other states. Like I'm looking at the Arizona Senate race between Ruben Gallego and Carrie Lake. It's essentially tied out there, but that's kind of a different story. So my question to you would be, I know you said that you were hardcore backing Trump for this election, and that's okay. It's an opinion, and you do what you want. But uh, you also stated in the last segment from last week when I was asking uh, that you were open to hearing why people were backing Biden. And I think I gave you some of that when we talked on the phone earlier. Now, would you like me to go a little bit more into that? Because I have – Yeah, the things. I would appreciate you, it, yeah. I'll give you each of the things, and then you tell me um, what you think of each of the accomplishments and achievements that were done. Is that good? That's good. Okay, okay. So let me start off with this. Um, now, some of this I'm reading off of here, and then others I can remember off the top of my head. Uh, for one, uh, he gave federal workers and contractors – about fifteen dollars an hour. Now we tried to push that across the board to have that for everybody, but I think that's a good start there. Uh, we still want more. Uh, let me see on the student debt thing. There were what he canceled up to twenty thousand dollars for individual and student debt. Now I thought he was only going to one to five thousand, so he surpassed my expectation on that one a bit. Uh, we got out of Afghanistan, even though that was kind of messy in terms of how it happened. Uh, the Biden administration massively lowered the drone strike, the drone war by over eighty percent. Uh, you're talking he got us back in the Paris Climate Agreement. He got us back in the World Health Organization. Uh, they were supposed to get us back into the Iran deal, but we didn't do that yet, and hopefully they're going to do that. Uh, he put a pause on – now, even though the genocide in the Israeli Gaza situation isn't looking too good now, he did briefly put a pause on giving the weapons to Saudi Arabia to help to, you know, stop the committing of the genocide in Yemen. Uh, he's also re-enrolled 10 to 15 million Americans back onto the Affordable Care Act. Uh, 500. Now, I think both parties failed on the immigration thing, but 500 migrant children were reunited with their families through the Biden administration. Uh, there are some marijuana convictions that have been pardoned. There have been 
Uh, they, they stood by the UAW workers who the Republicans who were told by the Republicans that they didn't deserve the strike and they should be fired. So just that's a fraction of it right there. And so before I dive into the others, just off those things alone, I mean, what do you think of that? Is there something there that you're not okay. understanding, or would you want me to clarify? Yeah, so let's – oh, no, you did that. I appreciate it. You did it flawlessly perfect. So the first one, federal workers getting an increase in pay, really? <laughs> really? So, well, so hold up. Let, oh, wait. So let me ask you something about that. Yeah. I mean, are you saying that you think they shouldn't have gotten a pay, or do you think – do you not believe the story, or I, what, what, what's the problem? I, I, I'm thinking – see – I think government is way too bloated. It's way too big. And I'm like a historian with what our founders believed. And I think if I go out and I ask every one of my neighbors, are you glad federal employees got a a paper? He's like, how does that help me? Well, I mean, maybe if it helps the IRS to get more money, you know, from people, uh, if they're, giving the IRS agents pay raises. So the federal workers, I think the federal government's too big. I mean, I'd I'd like to get your opinion later on. If you guys think, should we just keep growing this monster bigger and bigger? It's like- Well, you need somebody to supervise education, drugs, uh, pollution, and that sort of thing. It has to be national regulations on that stuff. Each state can't say, oh, I'll take this pill, but not that pill. You can't be doing that kind of stuff. What I would like them to see is get prices down. The only people that got cheap uh, uh, insulin is old folks. The young people and other people don't are paying four, three to $500 a month for insulin to stay alive. That's ridiculous. Well, yeah, I go to Canada if they're near it to go oh. get it because I have a friend who goes from Michigan to Canada. Uh, he did. He's older, but other people that are not older, they go to Canada, and Bernie Sanders took all kinds of people to Canada to get cheaper drugs for cancer and other things. That's because those other countries yeah. uh, were not and, like them. And the same companies are selling insulin in Europe and Canada for 40 bucks a vial when uh, we're paying 350 to 450 for the same damn vial. Why? Yeah, but we're on the federal workers' pay raise right now. So, yeah, and, I know. So on that part, but, uh, they got to be regulated. So on, they okay, need let me tell you something about, oh, you you something about the regulation. You Not know, the, the, the taxes that we pay in California are sky high. And the roads are crap, big old potholes, cracks all over. And people say the same argument. You say, well, you want to drive on nice roads, do you? And they're just, California's going downhill. This is why, you know, uh, more people have moved out of California than moving into it. But anyways, on the federal workers, out of respect to Eric, um, you're not going to get people that believe in, uh, like, independence, that believe in smaller government or or – uh, Trump supporters or Republicans, especially conservatives, you, you're not going to, I'm not even salivating over the fact that some, uh, <laughs> some, some nerdy guy in the federal government with a pocket protector and glasses is over here getting a higher pay raise. It doesn't help any of my neighbors. It doesn't help uh, anyone that I know. Hold on a Answer the question, but let's go through it and then we'll go back and we'll let me give you my answers to them if, if Eric agrees on that, and then we'll go back and we'll chat about it. Because otherwise, well, I'll never get through this whole list. So what was the next one? It was a student debt. Wait, wait, hold up a second. Hold up a second. Let's, let me do this right quick. Let, so. I can only partially agree with your statement where you say, well, this thing right here might sound good, but it may not help my neighbor. First of all, you never know. I mean, in terms of you don't know where all the neighbors work at and this person That's could be right. better for the – But wait, hold on, hold on. I'm not saying that means that every single policy and achievement that I've listed is a thing that benefited every single person because no matter who we get in office, it's there's going to be some people that get – there's going to be some people that get there's going to be people in the middle who are going to be not affected one way or the other and different. Now, that brings me to my next point. There was a piece of legislation that was called the PAC Act, which was uh, it was a piece of legislation that was introduced in Congress by Democratic Congressman Mark Takano, who I believe is in California. And, of course, this was back when Nancy Pelosi was still the speaker. This was the Democrats had the House back in 22. 
And, of course, it passed the House. I didn't see a reason for it not to. There was really no excuse there. And then it gets to the Senate. Surprisingly, it passes the Senate with who we have in there. And surprisingly, and I'll even go so far to say this, there were some Republicans who actually voted yes on this. There was still a good number of them that voted no on it. And, of course, President Biden decided, now, what was that bill? That bill was giving health care to veterans who were exposed to toxic burn pits. Now, yeah, I remember like his son. Doing a lot of, so I remember doing a show in November of 2022, right before the midterms took place, and I said, listen, I want all the veterans to remember this and be aware of this. I mean, I, I had two family members that served in the military, actually three now that I can think of. Uh, one of them is still here, two are deceased. But – I just want people to remember and know if you're not already aware. Just so you know, the reason why they got that is because, you know, Democrats passed it in both chambers of the House and – or both chambers of Congress, and, of course, President Biden signed it. Now, again, I'm not trying to make a partisan hack argument to say that just every last thing Democrats say and do is always correct, but just letting them know that that was one of them, and you got this because of us. Uh, what do you think of that bill so far if you weren't already aware of it? Okay, well, so first on the first one, the federal workers – um, I'm kind of in the majority there. Uh, the majority of people say that the federal government's way too powerful and way too big. So I believe like the founders did in limited federal government. So uh, that's my opinion on that. On that other bill, so did the bill pass or did it not pass? Oh, the no, one you're passed. telling me about. It passed. It passed. Okay, I have to look at it. I haven't seen it. So I'd have to look at it and see, you know, read it, and because and, I don't know exactly the wording of it or how, where the funds came from or how much went to what or what the rules were on it. But, but I'll look into that, and I'll give you an answer on that. But the next one was student debt, right? Let me bring you mm-hmm. to the other one, too. Here are some of the other ones I really want to get to as well. The next big okay, the let's do the ones you want to get to first, then. Well, right, right, right. I'm, I'm going to cover all of them. Don't worry. Like I said, I want to make sure we get okay. this thoroughly. And then, by the way, by the way, this is not me attempting to pressure you. I, I know that everybody's always asking people left and right, well, what has this administration done? Here I am providing the answer to the best of my ability. And at the end no, of the day, you kind of interpret it how you want to and then decide, hey, this is worth no, no it. But at the very least, I just want you to hear it. Is that good? Yeah, I'm just – that's why I'm telling you on the – I, I mean, I think – Democrats and, and Republicans, especially conservative Republicans, we live in two different worlds. Even all of us would agree on that. I think the government's too bloated. Uh, it's been said every time you have the government do something, it's like taking blood from the left arm and putting it in the right arm, but you're spilling blood along the way. And I, I, I agree with what Reagan said when he said the worst word you want to hear is, hi, I'm from the government and I'm here to help you. So I believe in limited government. Um, so on the federal workers, uh, that hmm. them getting an increase, I, I, I totally disagree. I give a F minus on that one. And, and okay. I'm in the 54%, by the way, of people that say government's too big and federal government's mm-hmm. too big and too powerful. I'd okay. like to well, ask a question I'm here. We don't have an bloating of the judges and the personnel that can uh, make decisions about people at the border. That's why it gets packed up. They can't make the decisions. There aren't enough judges. And the IRS, they are wanting to cut it back, and the IRS is not going to be able to go after big money makers as they are after people like the rest of us. And they're not overbloated there. I wondered what you thought about that. Well, well, the federal agents are actually cutting razor wire, for example, at the Texas border. That's ridiculous. That's it's not what like I asked Fox. It's like the fox. That, well, you talked about the border and the bloated, the bloated. One, one so second. I'm saying I'm not going to let the federal government. I, I, it's obviously the federal government's failing at, at protecting the border. I mean, have you heard of the impeachment of Mayorkas? Okay. Uh, listen to me, Rich, for one second, I want to ask you a question. Do you think that it was right and humane for the, for the governor of Texas, Abbott, to put razor wire yes. and saws that actually cut yes. people and could kill them if they came and across? Them. And, and it did. And it hurt them, and it maimed these people. Uh, I do, I do he think. Got, hold on, I'm, I'm not finished. And he yeah, also I think it's right a, to put razor wire there. 
It is. Do yeah. you think it's okay when they stop the yeah. uh, the uh, the federal agents from saving uh, a mother and two children that drowned? Do you think that was okay? So the, I think if Biden would just no, no. Uh, let, you think that's would okay. just protect no, the border. No, okay. no, do not so even. I, I'd like to answer name. it. You no, guys got to let me answer it, though. You got to let me answer it. Biden doesn't what? answer that question. You're not answering. Go ahead. Listen. Can I answer what I'm it? Saying to it yes. A governor put razor wire Good. in the Rio Grande. That's branch. wonderful. I want him protecting our families over here in that America. Family comes first. That is murder. I don't want do MS-13 murderers? coming over here and raping my daughter. Do you understand? Why no, would no, I want no, these no, gang no, members no, coming no. over here raping my daughter? So are you for rape? Americans are more violent per capita than the people coming over the border, legal or illegal. Did you not know that? And the Supreme Court told him that was illegal and to take it out, and he has refused to honor what the Supreme Court said. The no, rest actually, they didn't to say to take, take it out. The Supreme Court yes, told actually, him. you're reading the ruling. And constitutional. And no, no, they said the federal government could cut it, but they didn't stop the uh, from them putting it up. So he's breaking the law. Do you understand that? He's breaking the law. That is in the name that is murder. Why did why murder. doesn't Biden why did he stop because, building no, the wall? Because you need Biden more Democrat voters. Trump is not Trump. Well, Trump is not supposed to put the wall the and get animals. Mexico to pay for it. Did he do that? What one no, at a time, lady? Not. Okay, no, great. So, great. Why did Biden okay, quit building the wall? Why did he? Elon I'm Musk. Elon Musk today said it. David, one more comment. Elon Musk said Elon Musk Biden is an letting asshole. people come in, letting people come in so Elon he can get Musk more Democrat voters. Lori, you if you were a that? true Christian, you would admit it's that that's oh, the truth. Oh, don't go back to that. You will get my blood. Come on, Lori. Hold you on, you hold know on, all of the Christianity every and the one flag of you, with their cruelty. Every one of you on the line know that Biden wants more Democrat voters. That's why he's letting them in. Yes, that's right. I said it. I said the truth that you, Lori knows it, Eric knows it, David knows it. Years to become a set. You guys want those Democrat voters coming over here, don't you? Be honest. No, we don't. Because they're not capable of voting. For years and years and years and years. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. about Getting those Democrat voters over. That's why you guys are against stopping the invasion. about what you're talking about. You have no And I have a question for you with your small government. Why does your government have the size and energy to be in women's crotches all the time and in their uteruses why don't they mind their own goddamn business and let people live are their lives are life? you gonna are you gonna go down the road about your obsession of killing babies through abortion again oh, you oh, women God, you women are need to repent what are you Lori? you call yourself a christian and you're promoting the killing of babies shame on you no i'm promoting the fact that when i got raped in college and I wasn't done with college, and I ended up pregnant by somebody I didn't know who committed a crime against me. I should not, 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 not ever, ever, ever be forced to have the to carry that to term. The baby okay, was a, a sweet, the baby the was a clump of cells smaller than my pinky fingernail and had no heart, so you. no brain, no ideas. So were you. Yeah, when, when at that time, but my parents... Stuttering. Me. And my mother got pregnant by her husband, not some stranger right. who attacked her. And they chose Anyways, to have children. So Eric, I was Eric, in a I'll freshman in one. college. I was just barely 17 years old. And I didn't choose any of that. Except I that don't I, believe you. I'm sorry. I don't he believe he you. doesn't care You're about right. people that okay. were born. He cares about people that aren't developed yet. That's what. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I they don't got, believe they you. They got all the energy in the world <laughs> but, and the government to get into stuff that's none of their fucking business. Hey, Roe versus Wade's been overturned. Just live with it. Live with the fact that no, wonderful on, babies yeah, will be bouncing around all oh, happy and, and joyous. Fucking Supreme Court justices who mm-hmm. lied their asses off during their um, confirmation hearings to get in there so they could do something 
to overturn an existing law that was there for 50 years. Yeah, it was a it was bad law, no case law, though. You got to admit, there's nothing in the Constitution or Declaration or Bill of Rights that says you have this carte blanche right to murder a baby. Where does it oh, say? Point it out in the Constitution. Baby. I got all that. They're not you don't babies when general. they're parasites in your body that you did not choose to have put there. So are you saying you were a parasite once? Wait, hold on okay, a second. Hold on a second. No, hold on. Hold on. I say hold on. my parents <laughs> had me by so you choice. You were a parasite. The husband and I wife. It's kind of I was a seventeen-year-old that people that are college kid. Shut born. the hell up for a minute. Rich, we've already covered this before. Let, Let me talk for a minute. Let me just say this. You are Let the me most disgusting say, excuse for a human point. being I've ever heard. Okay, hold Sounds on. Sounds like a true abortionist, like you would say that. A couple things I want to throw in here, right quick. One. Uh, I think I, I might have covered this with you before, Rich. Um, I think I, I think we talked about this earlier or yesterday or whatever. Uh, there's three quick points I want to throw out there right quick because I do want to dive into some of the other things. Uh, one, there is a difference between, and this is why I told you, it wasn't my strongest issue, but I understood why many women and liberals were upset about this from 2022 with the Roe versus Wade being overturned. Listen, there's a difference between saying that I am – supportive and respectful to a woman making her own decision about what she can do with her body because I don't share the same organs on certain things, as opposed to saying I'm pro-abortion or I like abortion or abortion is fun. The problem that I have with a lot of the, the rhetoric and the narrative that comes from the right-wing side of the media, the Newsmaxes and the Fox News and the Breitbarts and the OAN's and people like that, is they're making it sound like we're glorifying the idea of a woman just having the abortion when that's simply not true. That's one thing I wanted to cover. Now, the other thing I wanted to go back to a point you were making earlier, and this wasn't really like something that I intended to discuss, but since you brought it up, you, you mentioned the state of California. And, and I was saying that, you know, and I know that you probably don't like them, your governor, and that's fine if you don't. But so let me just give you, and I have a list of great accomplishments that he's done as well, and he had a great approval rating even before he did these things. So I can give you a good four or five things that he's done. You tell me what you think about that. And then we'll go into the next point that I was thinking of, which had to do with the things that – from the American Rescue Plan. I mean, you, you well, could if you wanted to, but I don't think they, they, they care about that. And, and uh, no, 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 I think no, he's no, got more ambitions on a being – oh, go ahead. Someone's saying. talking. Sorry about that. No, no, no. Okay, so here's the thing. So Gavin Newsom, he – not only did he give – so I can give you four or five. One, he gave $20 an hour to fast food and restaurant workers. Two – he provided proper protection equipment for kids in schools during the height of COVID. Uh, three, uh, he also did a program that provided three free meals a day to the elderly during the height of COVID. I don't know if that's still going on, but during COVID it was. No. Either way, it was a move. Uh, four, he gave – he lowered the Medicare age out there, at least from what I saw. I think he lowered it to 50, or he tried to lower it to 50. And then five, he gave $600 stimulus checks on top of the federal money that they already got, and then later on, he gave them $1,000 stimulus checks, which I think mostly went to, like, poverty or elderly. That was a good move there. Before he did those things, the approval rating was on average 56 to 58 percent. He did those things, and his approval skyrocketed to 64 percent. And so why is it that people keep telling me that the people are leaving the state of California when those things they are done? They give them that approval rating at the same time they're I'll, leaving? Or like what? I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because those things, they're not really – I'll give you an example of one reason. Um, my neighbor just had to pay his registration, okay? His same car in Texas Everybody to register it would, would, be seven, would be $75. You know how much he paid? $440. Now, do you know how much of the welfare state California has of the total USA? One-third. So what's happening is it's very well, expensive in – in California because of, you know, the taxes are going to the welfare state. So this is why people are leaving. They're like, man, it's like so expensive to live here. I can go live somewhere else and have a better quality of life without the crime, mm -hmm. without the shoplifting right in front of you, without the tents. I mean, have you guys seen Skid Row? It's, it's a shame, you know, that, but when the Chinese, uh, the Chinese uh, Xi, John Xi Ping or whatever, when he came there, Gavin Newsom cleaned it up and got the homeless off the streets real quick because he was embarrassed of it. 
Um, and then during mm-hmm. COVID, you know how he was over there at the French Laundry, you know, sipping wine because he owns a winery himself. So there's a reason. I, I'm telling you, it, it's the economy stupid. I'm not calling you stupid. But I'm using Bill Clinton's very good phrase. It's the economy stupid. People are li- leaving California in droves because of those problems, crime, and then mm-hmm. – and now he's saying you can't have a, a, a gas car. He's passed this a, like a, a governor's bill where you have to have an electric car by like 2030, I believe it was. But anyways, so mm-hmm. there's, you know, we could talk about that, but that's kind of not like the main thing I think you guys want to talk about. And well, yeah, I'm not really a, a – Okay, Rich, I have a question. You talk about a welfare state, but look, look, who, yes. look who – look who um, – you know, collects all of it. Mississippi, uh, Alabama, <laughs> Louisiana. One third of it. Mirrors. One third of it goes to California. One third of all the welfare. No. You can look it up. One third of all the welfare no. and all the government, mm-hmm. uh, the assistance and the WIC card and the the CalFresh mm-hmm. and all that. It goes to no. California. When, when Schwarzenegger was governor, what is the population in California? What is the population? Pays in more money and pays it to the federal what is government. The population than the California? federal government pays to California. Mm-hmm. California supports many, many, many states. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, California yeah, supports so many states. But that's why people are leaving. So you notice what you guys are doing. It seems like it. It reminds me of weakened. It, uh, uh, Bernie's or what's that one where that guy's dead and they're trying to prop it up and they're propping him around pretending he's alive. Oh, California's toast. If Everyone's to be, leaving if you're California. Be I don't know. Can I say that? You. The majority of people, I don't even there's know more people talking. leaving. Hold on. There's more people leaving California than moving in. That hasn't happened what, since, like, I think it was the 70s. That's what? what is the population of California? It's a fact. What is it's the a population fact. of well, it, California? More people, leaving California, more more people are leaving California. You don't like than, to answer the questions. That's what it is. Hey, he will not answer the question. Wait, hold on what a second. Hold on. Hold on. I, I don't get California. what the population has to do with more people leaving Anybody California than moving in. People were already I leaving the question. I answer yours. Answer what's the population? Just Google it. You got Google and Bing. Right, it's, right, it's irrelevant for the conversation. Answer. There's more okay, people I'm leaving California. Okay. I'm looking it up right now. I'm looking it up right now. The population of California is almost 40 million. See how okay, easy that was? That was a tough one, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Why can't you guys do it? Hold on. It's how much? How much? One third of 40 million. Think about that for a second, Rick. One third. No, no, no. No, no, no. They don't have one third. I'm saying California has one third of all the welfare state of the United States. The entire United no, States. Not at all. But, Rick, no. But, Rich, but hold up. I just want to bring this out right quick because, and again, correct me if I'm wrong, but there were people leaving not the one state third of California. Of before those things took place with the policies that I listed. So I don't think that those things are the reason why. Right. No, Eric, Eric, you made a, hold on. You made a good, listen, there's more, there's people leaving, but, but there was more people moving in. Now what's happening, it's like a teeter totter. There's more people leaving that are moving in. So, so they're going to have a problem. They're either going to have to cut all the, the, the welfare and the benefits and all that, or they're going to have to raise taxes. I mean, California's toast. It's toast. Something's got to I don't know what they're going to do. The economy of itself is larger than many countries. The economy of California is larger than, like, five other countries or whatever. Yes, it is. Yeah, I'm just saying they're bleeding taxpayers. And and, uh, if you saw the debate between DeSantis and Newsom, uh, he talked about a lot of the, that also. California was always yeah. an expensive state. I think that yeah, I, I know that's 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 that debate. He got smashed in that debate. I watched it. Oh, but yeah, Rich. right. That's just right. kind of wrong. <laughs> yeah, watch that debate. Okay, so, Rich, about. I want to ask you this question. Okay, um, so... You know, 2017 tax breaks, uh, he gave the 1%, a big tax break and everything. Uh, did you get a tax break that big? Who are you talking about? Newsom? No, no, no. You, I, I mean, no. 
No, Donald Trump, when he was president in 2017, gave a huge tax break to the 1% and corporations. Were you part of that tax break? Um, we did pretty good. I won't get into my personal life, but we had, we got three properties. Uh, I liked it better under, under uh, Trump than Biden, you know, mm-hmm. so I, I totally liked it. And here's the thing. I want you guys to imagine you have a business. Let's say you have a, uh, a hotel business or a restaurant business. There's no mm-hmm. way in God's green earth you're going to convince me you'd rather want Biden running that than Trump. I mean, yes, please. I well, actually, I, you, you, know, if, bridge, you can't bridge, sell me a bridge. That, there's no way you would have Biden running your business. For rich, for you rich, would say, I okay, I may not like Trump or his mean tweets, but I'm going to pick, pick Trump. But, but, well, hold yeah, on a yeah, second. Yeah, but, yeah. Hold on. But, rich, but Rich, I want to tell you this. I want to tell you this. I want to be 100% honest with you. I'm not going to sit here and – even with all those achievements from Biden that I just listened to you, I'm not going to sit there and pretend like he's my favorite person or that he's perfect. I, you know, we had 25 of them running in the primary from 2020, and he was not my first choice. As a matter of fact, he wasn't even my second or third choice. He was more like my ninth or tenth choice, if you want me to be honest with you. I mean, I, there were so many people before Biden I would have chosen. Like, you know, you had uh, Corey, Kamala, Beto, Pete, Klobuchar, all those people, Elizabeth Warren, Kirsten. I would have rather had any of them at the time. But And all the things that I've given you right here, He's done so many things that I didn't even expect. I mean, the mass, the massively reducing the drone war part, I didn't see that coming. The PACT Act, I didn't even think about that. Uh, as far as the other things, I didn't know if he was going to do the increase for the, the federal workers' contractors. I thought he was going to do it by a little bit. I thought he was going to do one to 5000 for student debt. He did up to 20000 So, I mean, there's been things in that area where we have a certain amount of goals and the certain things that we want to get to. And with a lot of the goals that we're trying to achieve, Biden's administration's policies have gotten us a little bit closer to that, then I would say even Obama's and Clinton's did. So, of course, it's going to top over Bush and Trump. So I'm not saying that everything that he's done has been all that good. I mean, he, we didn't get what we wanted on the railroad track. We didn't get back into the Iran deal. We're still out there in Ukraine. We're still out there in Israel. So I'm not going to pretend that he's perfect, but if these two are the choices, then, yes, Biden is the one that I'll go with. Well, I mean, it's Eric, let me, I'm going to give all of you guys a – I'm going to give all you guys a gift, okay? So I'm going to, I'm being, I'll always be honest to tell you the truth about – so remember Bush Sr., okay, and oh, yeah. when he ran against uh, Perot and Clinton, okay? Now, the economy was, was horrible during that time. Remember he said, read my lips, no new taxes, and then he raised the taxes, right? And, and then you had – uh, you know, Gingrich in there as Speaker of the House, and they, they sent this big old welfare, uh, I mean, this big old package to Clinton where, you know, you couldn't be on welfare for like your whole life. You had to show like you're trying to get a job and all that. And they're like, no way is Clinton going to sign it. And Clinton signed it. Now, mm-hmm. I'm willing to totally say that it was a better economy with Clinton. And I think that kind of had to do because we had control of the House. But but still, Clinton was, was the president. It was a better economy, right? And the polls were like about the same with, with Bush and the economy. Like right now, I'm on NBC, you guys. This is not Fox News. It says the national poll, and this was January 26 to 30, so it's kind of the most recent one. I know it's February 5th, with the margin of error of plus 3.1%. It said – Excuse me. Who do you feel is better qualified to deal with the economy? Now you know where I'm going mm-hmm. with this. 55% said Trump, 33% said oh, Biden, and they and well, now what I don't understand. Here's my question for you guys. Why don't you just be honest? Wait, hold on. Hold why don't you just be honest and say, yeah, I agree that Trump would be better for the that the people. No, he doesn't even agree that the God is really talking about that. We would be lying. It's reality. I want to be it's honest. NBC no, 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 five times. And he well, wait, lies to get honest. loans that he wait, doesn't care about. Go ahead, Eric. Let me be honest with you right quick. Rich, 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 let me be honest with you right quick. I'm sorry to cut everybody yes, off, but let me just get this point across right quick. I stated this earlier, and I'll state it again. Here's the thing. I'm not saying that that poll that you gave right there is 100% inaccurate or 100% accurate. You can have a poll, and we've seen this in every election, especially since 2016, where you can have two candidates that are asked 
you know, do you think this person is is more likable or trustworthy or who do you think would better handle the economy? You can do those same candidates in, say, the month of February or March, and you might have one candidate leading those polls, and then you could have the opposite Agreed. candidate leading it. August totally agree September. with you on that. that. Wait, hold on. We saw that with Hillary and Trump. Then we saw it with Biden. And right. Trump, and I was just going to say that. Again. Yeah. Those poll numbers could change at any time. So I'm not saying that it's inaccurate. I'm just saying that for right now being, you don't know that those minds could change over the course of time. We don't know what could happen. I'm just saying that. With, I, I, the totally that right now, I totally agree. I totally agree with you. But what I'm, I'm saying, saying is, where we're at right is, now, I would trust Biden over I, Trump. But are there I just don't think the list that you that you. I just don't think the list that you gave me about, you know, student loan debt and federal workers I, getting a pay raise, well, I, I just don't think it's going to trickle down into reality with the, with the voters. It doesn't seem like it is. Okay, well, hold on are a you, second. Well, hold on. Are you wait, hold on. To be fair, to be Rick, fair. can I ask you a question? That was only are a part you of the list, against, by the way. Sure. Are you against helping student loan debt? help paying student loan, student loan debt. Are you against um, that? I, I would think, I, I would say it depends what helping is. So if helping is, look, we're going to give them more time to pay it off, that's okay. Great. But if it's like I've gone, I paid all my student more, loans and I have friends that are that, doctors that they're that still paying on them. 20 years to pay off their student loans, how much more time would you like to give them? Well, okay. um, don't you think you should, if you say you're going to pay your bills, you should, Lori? Of course. Well, then why but, did they have in the early 2000s a law that was passed that let everybody claim bankruptcy except for students? And being a student and being educated is one of the greatest returns on investment you can have. Exactly. So what is wrong no, with No, I'm with whoever just said that. I agree with you on that. It's like it's kind of weird that they would say, oh, no, you can't file bankruptcy on, on that. Well, they um, did. Because I yeah, no, I, I I agree with you on that. But it's kind of like a separate issue college than what Lori was asking me. But I think that these college students could use some help. And I will say that I feel that the colleges themselves have the money to lower their tuition, but they are too greedy to do so. These college teams that play the sport that brings in millions and millions of dollars that they don't have to pay taxes on, but yet these students have to go to school and, and get in debt for just about half of their life. You don't think that they well, deserve help? I do. Well, I do think they I think, deserve help. I, I have a question for David and Eric because they, they, you guys probably know better than me. What was that state that just came out and said you're not required to have a degree? Did you guys read about that? That's Florida. David, did you hear that? Can I just have the panel? Florida? The, 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 yeah. What do you guys a think degree, about that? There's a to be what? To be what? You don't have to have um, a degree to what? I probably should have what? pulled it up. I'm sorry, but I thought what You're a great idea because it solves Lori's. Are you talking uh, about? Let me see. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Rich. Now, when you say that that's a great idea, that people do not need a degree to do what? To be a doctor? To be a dentist? To be a lawyer? To be a teacher? To be a psychiatrist. Okay. Well, you what don't need a degree to be a there? lawyer. Uh, you don't need a degree to be a you lawyer, do, for example. Rich. Of course, no, you, you don't. Be, I, 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 no, don't I'm going to tell you something. So you can. Like there's the a way you can do it. As he does like the uneducated. Tell, in, in California, in California, mm-hmm. there's different laws. You can go ahead and be. You're like an apprentice under an attorney for so long, and then you take the bar. So don't before you start saying someone's uneducated, at least let me finish so you don't make a fool out of yourself. Before you because finish, so you I'm don't have to. Hold on, so, hold on. so let me read it. Hold on, let me finish. read this. Right. Hold on, right quick. You think a lawyer? Went to college. Right quick. Before you finish on that, I do want to say this. There's a little bit of a Some difference. And I don't know if it varies. On, I don't know if it varies on state to state, but I think there's a difference between. You know, you can be have an apprentice or have the position underneath the attorney as opposed to being right. the actual attorney if you are going to be like the Novak from Law yeah. & Order or whatever or Abbott or whatever. I think that's different. If you want to go to that level and be an actual prosecuting attorney or an actual defense attorney like a Lionel Granger or the Roger Kressler or whoever like that, then I'm tr- pretty sure you got to go to school a little bit for that. Now, unless California well, – 
Yeah, California has a different. You could actually, it, it's you have to be under the attorney for X amount of years, and then you do, of course, have to take the bar and pass it and all that. But but what I'm, anyways, what I'm saying, I didn't want to go down that rabbit trail because what I was talking about is there are some states, and um, like the one gal was saying, where in Florida and other states, and I was just reading, it was on Fox News that they, there's another state that came out, and it was like. 90% of the different jobs and careers, you're not going to be required to have a college degree. Um, I'm that's not really. Great. Go to work and you just, say again. That's great. Come I on. said now they've passed, gotten rid of all the child labor laws, and you can go ahead and work in the slaughterhouse exactly. when you're 12 years old. No that's, problem. That's you don't need school because they want going. uneducated that, idiots out there as where they're going with well, didn't didn't uh, I don't Bill think, Gates I, drop out no, of rich, college? Rich, and he's like the, one of the richest men. In the, not that I like Bill Gates, but he's an exception. But isn't he, he? Okay, do you, well, hold on do yeah, you realize that they are changing child labor right? laws? Do you realize that they are changing child labor laws a little bit at a time? And you can be 13 years old and work in these factories at night well, after going to school out. With slaughterhouses uh, and under now, Lori, dangerous treatment. Do you is this Lori the this one that's all for changing the child's gender and chopping off the little finish. boy's wee wee? Really? You never let me finish. I think you're kind of sick. I, I, well, what that's what you guys are for. I'm not for it. They get to hang up on him. I'm sick of him. Why would you hang up on him? Oh, I hit a nerve. See, she do not like the truth. You guys shouldn't hang up. It looks bad for you. I've had it. See? Hey, you know this. Do you know hey, that this Lori, that's called conviction, conviction of the Holy and Spirit. You come on here you know what? And act like Shut it's your, your goddamn show, and you get to be in charge, and I'm going to talk about this, and then I'll talk about this. That's and called you conviction of the Holy if Spirit. I feel like it, I'll answer this yeah. question, and then you we'll move on to this. You don't you, Lori? That's what it is. You're, you're an asshole who calls in and then you shit out of people. I got under your skin because I'm more information. I'm a okay, okay, by the way, okay, I had okay, seven transgenders going. in my practice, and I learned a lot about them, and one did have his weeby cut off because that's what he wanted. He was an adult, and he was much happier, by the okay, way. Okay, Rich, thank you so, so much for yeah, calling in, Rich. You are being so disrespectful well, there is one as a Christian. Point that I want to you're full of shit. Okay, you okay, Rich is gone. You're an evil devil. Rich. Yeah, Rich is gone yeah. and everything. Uh, 